Hello, hello, everyone. How are you all doing? Ah. We've got here tonight Niall, Jude, and Jasper because it's Sunday and y'all know what that means. Welcome to Parallel Play, where Lama plays Pokemon again because nothing else is interesting right now. And Big Run is already over. Fucking rip. Big Run? Yeah, uh, in Splatoon. Oh. Ah. Short of What's up, Nile? Yeah, what's up, Haru? Saint 14 over here giving me the monkey mask. Oh boy. <laughs> I put it in voice text. Oh no. It's time to return to monkey. I see. Monkey. You have shown me monkey. <laughs> Fucking dorks. <laughs> Garden, I bring you monkey mask. What? Why? It looks great! Why not? You wouldn't wear? Me personally, no, but I would love to see you in it, Saint. Uh, kid, my helmet is, is uh, glued to my head. You know what? I won't ask you how you did that, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, uh... I'm, I've got to take your word for it if that's what you're going with. <laughs> Fucking... My, my boy Shax. <laughs> Okay, uh, so, uh, you might have guessed, um, Haru is playing, um, Destiny Tonight. Jasper, what are you doing? Uh, I am playing Pokemon Rejuvenation. Ooh, have fun. Dude, you got anything lined up? Nice, nice. Yeah, ah. It won't be for long, people. Don't worry, I'm not that cringe. She lied as naturally as she breathed. Yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with being cringe it's lo as long as it's not the bad kind of cringe. I mean, truthfully, the only reason I'm playing this right now was primarily to grab um, a screenshot of the shaders that I use for my hunter for a friend, but I, I just needed something to keep me busy for a little bit, and I figured I'd fancy this. Mm hmm Yeah. Ah. Uh. Ah! New Gundam episode. Ah! I am not going to go into detail because Jasper, if I recall, you haven't seen it yet. I'm like two or three episodes behind right now. I think. F. But ah! Yeah. Oh hey, look, Catch Nimona's you. getting into fights again. <laughs> Yeah, pretty standard. Oh, that was third. Oh, you fucking. I hate you, Rob. How dare you yes. betray me like that? Ah. Oh. You're the one that bought it. Oh my god. Shut up. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the rest of the, like, um. Like, little, like, school side routes real quick. Then, I'm gonna keep hunting for Treasures of Ruin. <sighs> yeah, ah. Gundam, good. Very good. Enjoying severely. Even though it fucking hurts. Yeah, ah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, as y'all might be able to see, um, we've now got two fucking Padorus here. Oh, which reminds me, I think I still need to update my reactive to, um, use, like, new lemma. Or, like, the new, like, updates, like the freckles and stretch marks. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what's Arvin got? Ooh. Fishing is hard in this game. Mm. How how 
did they make fi you know what i i i kind of don't want to know but at the same time i'm gonna have to ask how the hell they managed to make fishing it, in Pokemon so, game so, sometimes sometimes well, you know how when you're fishing it does the dot 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 yeah oh, uh, a bite and then you have to click yeah. a to to, to, to to pull the pokemon out to fight it did they make right? that window yeah. tighter uh, sometimes sometimes the text just goes too fast oh boy wild oh yeah um other important thing uh i got an email yesterday hell yeah well. saying that my aerial kits are on the way hell yeah so look forward to me building one of those on stream soon it has been fucking forever but uh they're finally on the way ah uh, it is ridiculous how popular Gundam Witch is. Like, there's so much. This one is a little bit more readily available, right? Marginally? It, I mean, like, it's on Crunchyroll and there's, like, the free Muse Asia stream, but... Mm. Yeah. It's also, um... It also doesn't start out with child soldiers. I mean, that's usually a good thing. Yeah. I mean, child soldiers are pretty common in Gundam, so we'll probably have them soon. But... The, the real irony is that when I yeah. think about how often that happens, I think the only actual prominent one that is... Because there's a difference between a, a mech pilot that happens to be a kid and a legitimate child soldier. There's yeah. a very big difference there, and mm -hmm. I, I, mean, I haven't really watched much Gundam, but to date, I think the only one that constitutes as actual legitimate child soldier is Gundam 00, because mm -hmm. that's like the whole backstory for the main character, my boy yeah. Setsuna. Mm -hmm. that, that, poor, that poor fucking dude. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Either, <laughs> like, just... Even if they're not like uh str if even if they're not like legit child soldiers, they are still children using heavy weapon using heavy weaponry to fight in a war. Which is weird though, because like <laughs> even then, like I often think about how what like Gundam Wing, where like there's no yeah. actual war happening. There, there's just they were picked because they were the only ones who could pilot those things functionally. Mm-hmm. And they also yeah. are, like, young enough to understand that, like, oh, yeah, no, hey, uh, you are literally the optimal people for this because you actually give a shit about the state yeah. of the world right now. Yeah, and then there's also, like, the whole, like, new type thing or whatever. I don't think, I don't think Wing actually did new types. Yeah, um... I mean, Let me was, actually check! There was Wing, there, there was Wing Zero that had the whole, like... Oh yeah, this Gundam literally drives its pilots insane because the the, the, the input system from its from its like primary AI whatever the fuck like mm -hmm. shows you all possible outcomes of a few of futures that are yet to happen or can possibly happen, and that drives a person insane. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not seeing instance of um like specifically like. Um, the term new type in, uh, in, uh, in like, wing. Yeah. Yeah, they never use that, mm -hmm. they never use that term. Yeah. There are other concepts like it, like, um, in Gundam Seed, there's, like, coordinators, and in Gundam 00, there's innovators. And, uh, in Gundam Witch, there's whatever the fuck Saletta fucking Mercury is. So, so I got a question. Yeah. Um, un unrelated to, to anything. Yeah. Um, why does the tractor supply company sell Warhammer: Age of Sigmar? Who knows? that they sold that um, yeah. 
until recently when, um, so and then the, 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 the most recent Genshin update, you actually get to choose the name of the character. Hmm. So that's not the main player character. Interesting. Uh, for lore reasons. Fun. Um, and I, uh, decided to go with a Warhammer themed name. Hmm. Um, and to make sure I got the spelling right, I googled it. Yeah. And the name, and then, and so I got, I, I knew I had the spelling right. And so I was like, you know what, I'm, I kind of want to get into fucking Age of Sigmar again. So I was looking up, and the very first result was from the Tractor Supply Company. Uh. Sure. Which famously sells tractor, or uh, which, say, where, which famously doesn't sell tractors, but rather sells trailers. Hmm. Ah! Wild. I mean, they might sell tractors as well, but they sell trailers. That's what I know them for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Arvin, you deserve a hug. You deserve multiple hugs, honestly. this purple thing. That's just like a big thing of rock candy? What is this? Uh, hello, Ari. Good to see ya. <laughs> hey. I thought I've done that. Um, I've got Penny in the school store. Context for that: the Hive uh, <laughs> faction. They are by default female. Yeah. And undergo gender swap depending on what cast they evolve into, essentially. Wow. Knights. Knights are male exclusive, and I think wizards are female exclusive. Mhm. Mm and Oryx is the only. I think is the only male of the primary leaders of the Hive. Hmm. Interesting. And <laughs> there's, like, multiple instances where, because he's Savathun's brother, hmm. and there are instances where Savathun only references her sisters, which eventually gave way to the realization that, yes, at one point, Oryx was... Yeah. was a uh, female by default, but then became male because of how the system works. Mm -hmm. My god. The ironic part, however, is that there is one there, one of the hive leaders, I think hive leaders, or one of the high, like, ranking hive, is a female knight, and she is the only one of that kind. Oh, yeah. Gotta love, gotta love a girl boss winning. <sighs> Yeah, I, but I cannot tell you how many times that sentence has been applied to Savathun. That makes me very. That makes me happy. Uh, by the way, it's Ari says. Yeah. By the way, Ari says all rocks are candy if you're dragon enough. Yeah. yeah that, 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 that has me remember a, a, a really cool like, like documentary that I absolutely adore. That is also very sad because it like has a it has like a story to it and it's like a kind of a sad story mm -hmm. near the end. But that reminds me about how uh, if dragons were real, one of the one of the ways we imagine that, or the one of the ways that we could imagine their flame breath working, is how they use it in this, where they will crunch up bits of platinum in their molar teeth, mm. and that can be ignited with how they have. I think it was like methane primarily, mm. yeah. and like sacks in their chest, which also allow them to fly. Yeah. Dragon. So yeah. as they breathe their as they breathe their flame breath, they are also depleting their ability to fly because their bodies are still too heavy to. Uh, that's that's a really neat one. I love hearing about like just 
different dragon biologies. I think that's the most interesting one I've heard yet. I would absolutely recommend watching it, because I, I have... I, I It is on YouTube, but I think I have it mm -hmm. saved as well. It's called Dragons, A Fantasy Made Real, and it, along with another another mockumentary that I like, uh, caught a lot of flack when they aired, because they were presented in a way that this that they actually happened and were real events when it, it wasn't. Uh, but, like, people have no critical thinking skills. So, you know. Yeah. It was on, it aired on Animal Planet, I think, back in, oh god, what was it, like, the very early 2000s? Yeah, I might... Or, like, mid-2000s, probably? Mm -hmm. I might take a look at that at some point. I'll send it to you. It's really good. It's, like, an hour and a half long, but it's really good. I mean, I watch hour and a half long stuff all the time. I know. I, I'm not saying that you, you probably won't like to spare spare some time for it, and because it, it it will get you invested. It's it's really well really well written. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it like swaps between like the accounting of a shall I say uh, the fox molder of the paleontological community <laughs> and an actual like like uh, like a walking with dinosaurs style uh, commentary over, like, the proposed life of Excellent. dragons over various different species types. Spectacular. Oh my god, Atticus. I would very much like to acquire the limited edition ninja garments released today. Fucking dweeb. Uh. We pray for Atticus in this house. Oh, well, Leave you up to <laughs> That's another first word. That's another first word usage in Pokemon. Cosplay. I mean, word usage, yes, but we've seen many, many yeah. instances of people dressing up as Pokemon. Oh yeah, no, like Pokemaniacs I, I and my favorite is, like, is Fire Red Leaf Green Poke Nerds. Yeah, like Pokemaniacs and Poke Kids have always like Ben cosplaying. This is just the first time that uh someone's been called Edward out on it, you. you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, um, okay, um another cool thing with this game. Um, I think eighteen gyms and Ooh. instead of an elite four it's an elite eight. Hmm. Yeah. Oh that sounds brutal. Yeah, that sounds it sounds like I said um, competitive Pokemon players have a hard time with the normal difficulty of this game. Yeah, uh... I, I, will, I will also just straight up say that, like, I'm sorry, but competitive players are, like, the dumbest people around in terms of... Because I, I honestly genuinely feel like a lot of competitive-focused games... Or competitive... Co competitive or easy-to-make competitive games will condition people to forget how to play the game normally. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, there are, there are many instances I've seen where, like, people forget how standard gameplay works after being too long and competitive. Yeah. There was a good example I had, but I, I, I lost that thought. <sighs> I can't remember what game it was, though. Is but it time for me I to complain about Temtem? Yes. I mean, go right ahead. I don't know what the fuck a Temtem is, so... It's a side it's a po it's a poke clone one of the first yeah one of the first of like the modern wave of poke clones actually <sighs> so what the fuck is temtem why the only, is... the only temtem i know is that it's temmy from fucking yeah Hotel. Mm hmm. Uh, that's all. That's all I see. It's, good temp -temp it's just, te it's just yeah. Temmy cosplay. Uh, Pokemon. Temtem is an MMO Poke clone that was originally, I uh, believe, kickstarted and then did early access and is now actually out for real. Published by Humble Bundle. Um, it's something. It is designed after Pokemon, of course. Like. This is very explicit, and, uh, made by, you know, 
kind of people who think the main stories are too easy. And... Well, no, this is, like, people who prefer competitive stuff. Who don't... Yeah, Temtem's battle system is all double battles, which I'll admit is neat. Double battles are fun. Singles have some yeah. worth, though. Um... Yeah, uh... No RNG. So there's no accuracy, there's no conditional stat... Yeah, there's no, like, chance status effects, there's no critical hits. Um... Hatching is still RNG, though. Whoops. Um... Instead of moves having PP, your Pokémon has a stamina stat that, um, moves cost- yeah, moves cost stamina to use and you regen it over time. You can pick to not use a move and regen more stamina. If a move would use more stamina than you currently have, you can use it, but you take a bit of damage and aren't able to move next turn. That's a nice battle system you'd have. It'd be a shame if not if not a single fucking creature was even remotely memorable. I'm Well, yeah, that's... like that unfortunately that's kind of the that's kind of the, the, the crutch as to why these games just don't work. Yeah. Is because they put way more focus in the systems and not anything in the character design. Yeah, like um which is why Pokemon succeed. They put more thought into character design than Battle the, system. Than, the, than, than appeasing the people who like to make Smash more than what it is. I mean, to be fair, they do do a lot of that all the time. Well, yeah, but, but like, that, yeah. that's what I mean. Where it's like, there's a reason why Pokemon succeeded and has endured. Well, no, I mean, extent. they focus on the competitive a lot. Well, yeah, um. Wait, who? No. Or, yeah, no, Pokemon does. Like, the Pokemon company, Game Freak, they put a ton of focus well, yeah. into game- into, like, gameplay for competitive. Well, yeah, more recently they have. That yeah. was not a thing prior to Gen 4. Yeah, well, uh... I think Gen 5 may have been, like, the first time they tried that, yeah, because well, they had that whole item that- that- or that key item that was- was it the item launcher? Yeah, that or- no yeah, the Wonder Shooter, because, yeah. Yeah. Because there was, like, no one really knew how to functionally yeah, I mean, use that, I, and it was kind of a bad mechanic anyway. I maintain it was an interesting idea that could have been done a bit better. But oh, yeah, yeah it, was, mm -hmm. it was an interesting concept, yeah. but, like... Do you want to know the real nobody... reason they started focusing on competitive with Gen 4? <laughs> well, I, I or think with Gen 4, Gen 5? Five five? The real start of yeah. it. Do you want well, to know why? Smogon. No! Net play. Because so now like you internet, could... Like, internet, uh, yeah. internet connection. Yep. Uh, now you could have battles with anyone. Yeah, um, I've got some example Temtem up on my screen, and, uh... Yeah. Uh, what are these? Well, the, the, the name Temtem is terrible. That's a yeah. shitty name. What is, what is that? Yeah. Like... Again, like, I, I I now feel like that may have been a placeholder that they just didn't want to change. Yeah. Like, what are these? What? <clears throat> these are... These are... Yeah, uh... They're just so over-designed. Oh, they're over-designed? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Now, now, now I... Oh, yeah. what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What yeah. the fuck is that? Shoutouts to Cyber Terrakian in the bottom left. Oh no, Cyber Verizian in the bottom left. Oh, it finally has it, ha it finally has 5G now? <laughs> yeah, no, uh yeah, what are these? What the fuck are these? There is God, those are terrible. Yeah. There is um exactly one design that I think is actually, like, at all memorable. Let me pull it up. Dare I ask what the 
attempt at Gardevoir was? I... Or having a Gardevoir? I have... It's been years and they've added more Pokemon, so I'm not sure. Uh, this is the one memorable design. This is Platypet. Do you want to know why it's memorable? No. There's, I don't know which one you're focusing on. Um, there's one on- there's a new one on the screen, theoretically. I don't- I, I, I'm either very behind or yeah. the stream itself is lagging. I have no idea. Yeah, I think you're very behind, so maybe give it a refresh? I can also just send it in voice text. That would probably be easier, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is Platypet. Oh, okay. I, I, I see it now. That that actually looks like a Pokemon. Yeah, want to know why? Why it's worth it's memorizing. Do you want to know why it looks like a fucking Pokemon? Sure. It's a fake mon. Yeah. It was yeah, a fake mon. Would surprise you to think that they, they they probably stole fake mon designs oh, for that as well. No, so not stole. Submitted as a Kickstarter backer bonus. Someone could submit a po oh. a tem design, and they submitted Platypet, <laughs> which resulted in one one tem tem that actually looks remotely memorable. Yeah, no, everything about tem tem is just a. <laughs> hmm? What's up? Oh no. Oh, oh yeah. Gave a really good <laughs> yeah, oh my god, Patty I just saw it. Patty the Platyped! Oh god. But yeah, no, um Temtem everything about Temtem is just such an uncanny valley bootleg copy of Pokemon. They still do like, like the most... rephase like catch animation. They've still got Pokemon centers that they call Temporiums, which, that's a good pun, I'll give them that. Um, there's, um, they've got gyms, but they call them dojos. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, oh, the type chart. I will, what, I will yeah? actually kind of admit that I think the term dojo probably fits the thematic for even Pokemon a bit better than gym, mm -hmm. but... It's way too late to change that now. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Where do I go next? Oh, I know. The fucking type chart. What the fuck? Yeah. Do we know anyone who'd want to have a Voltorb named after them? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah, uh... What the fuck is this shit? What the actual fuck is this shit? What the you fuck know, the is this? The worst part about it is that they do not give the, the name of the typing. Yeah. Which is already... Okay, no, okay, it is down there. But yeah, okay, um... To, to be clear, this is not an official type chart. Yeah, no. Uh, also, melee for fighting, wind for flying, nature for grass, poison for toxic. Why the fuck is water weak to poison? Because you dump, you dump poison in the water and it becomes gross and toxic. Like, I understand that logic, but that's still stupid and breaks balance. Yeah, well, it's like, not even balance. It breaks balance in normal Pokemon. Well, that's most of it 1x. I mean, most of Pokemon is 1x. But yeah, uh, here's my question for why is uh, poison good against water? It's not good against water in Pokemon. Why do they have something that is so uncannily close to hmm, the Pokemon type chart that anyone who doesn't know the Pokemon type chart will still be 
yeah, will be incredibly lost because they're not not used to like big complex type charts. And anyone who does know the Pokemon type chart will be lost because of these just random fucking weird changes. What the fuck? That's why you learn? Yeah, no. It's different, so it's fine to learn it. Yeah, no, Jude. My right, but see, yeah. The, the it's just is that, that, the, that goes against the initial human logic. Of the world. Yeah, like just like I get you'll learn it over time, but just it is so close to the um yeah, it is so close to the existing Pokemon type chart. That the differences are incredibly frustrating. Of like just, okay. yeah. Like just. I, I, I don't think, fully I agree, think, but okay. I, I think also like the, another issue is that it's like, why bother making me learn a whole new type chart when you're gonna be almost a copy anyway? Mm -hmm. It's it, it's less it's less it's hard to learn and more. If you're gonna do this, just keep to what the formula is, and maybe add one new type that makes you have to go, okay, well, let's figure out how to get around that, mm -hmm. which I still don't like, though, because, again, gas type is the dumbest shit that fans keep putting in fan Pokemon games, and I'm like, it's, we don't need that, guys. It, it, it breaks convention. Mm -hmm. I think if it was just not... Like, just, I think if it didn't start out the game feeling so much like the Pokemon type system, the minor differences would not be as yeah. infuriating when they basically just jump scare you in the middle of a typed challenge and fuck you over. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I feel like that would also be a big, a big problem, where it's like, if you're gonna have a whole new type chart, Bother to teach you up to teach you more up front and early in the game so you get used to it. Mm -hmm. You can't just drop new shit halfway through the game that completely changes how the game is played. Because Can then that just becomes frustrating. Can I just check for the sake of the argument? Have either of you actually played Tenzo? Yes, no, that's yeah, why I Yeah, I, I have I and have I stopped playing it and the type chart was one of the reasons why, because it just kept frustrating me and making me feel like I could just be playing Pokemon where I'd be having so much more fun. And that's why I am on this rant in the first place. If it did, like, if I hadn't played it, I wouldn't care. But I did play it and it frustrated me enough that I have things to say about it. Yeah. Yeah, just like the creature designs are unmemorable. The type chart is just off enough to be frustrating. The mm, the uh, the money balance you get so much less from winning fights than things actually cost. So you're constantly strapped for cash, constantly having to run back to the not a Pokemon Center to heal multiple times per route because you can't afford the potions you need to keep going. Oh, hi, Lizzie. Yeah, just... I, I, I definitely... Lahi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I definitely think that this is one of, the, one of those things that you can very easily pick up on when you ever play a Pokemon fan game or like even like a, 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 a Poke clone. You can feel the cynicism. Yeah. Depending on how the game flows. And it sounds like Temtem was made by someone who was filled with nothing but cynicism when it comes to Pokemon or similar franchises. Mm -hmm. I think I think there is passion in it. Well, yes, but it's but, like, not the same passion. passion. Well, no. Uh, can I keep talking? Yeah. It's not the passion I have for Pokemon. I went in thinking it was, and I was severely let down. It's like just, for a while, the one redeeming factor for Temtem for me was that I could play through it with friends. And now I have Pokemon Violet, so Temtem has no use, no, has no use for me. Also, oh my god, Atticus.
close that? No, if you keep going. No, no, I'm done with my rant, Jude. Oh, the fact that he's actually taking his head off. Yeah. Yeah, he's just- and he's just a fucking beachy boy. Ah. Even Penny, yeah. Uh, also, just the story in Temtem was entirely and completely uncompelling in every way. Uh, I think that Nimona's not supposed to be here during this cutscene. to defy gravity due to due to physics glitch and just float indefinitely amazing i'm like oh good <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so it turns out um, are broken. oh my god it turns out that atticus's uh, best friend was the one who bought the ninja cosplays oh she just slowly the thoughts wait no that was actually just like the camera rotating so that's fine <laughs> Had Canon Atticus is probably one of the many people who leave out over Koga. Oh, absolutely. It's also a good reminder that all of Team Star were bullied for a few reasons. Mm hmm. Which. Yeah. Are so fan. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I respect them. They're great. Yeah, no. Team Star is great, and I genuinely, wholeheartedly love and care for them, and they deserve the world. Wait. Wait a minute. Hmm? So Nimona's basically just Goku. This guy's a Naruto fanboy. Where... where we, ha we have Archie, who you can probably argue may or may not be into One Piece because pirates. Hmm. Where's the bleach? Penny. Morty. No, Morty, no. Because Morty don't have a sword. Swords. Yeah. I mean, Penny watches One Piece. Or, no, Penny watches Bleach, probably. Or reads it. Because you I. You know what's really funny that I yeah. saw a very cursed post that I think you'd probably hate, Lemma, now that I think about it in hindsight. Oh boy. Terrified. You'd probably laugh at it regardless. Oh no. What is it? it what is. Was... I think it was, I, I can't remember if it was actually a Tumblr post or if it was a screenshot from Twitter that got brought over to Tumblr. It may have been a Tumblr post. They were going on about how Penny looks like someone who is an absolute Fujoshi and probably writes a lot of Yaoi fanfic. No! She's a fucking... No, she reads Yuri. Like, she's... <laughs> She's a I, fucking I trans because, being. Like, the, Convince the way, me otherwise. The, 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 weird, the, the weird part is, is that the way she looks... Uh, there have been a lot of... A lot of, like, cases people were putting in the... In the... In the responses for that post. That there's a very thin line between... The multi-colored, the multi-color, multi-hair colored transbian and Fujoshi fangirl. There's apparently a very thin line. Oh, incredibly thin line. Only, yeah, only gripe with Penny is her lack of Porygon, yeah. <laughs> and out of ten, good egg. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, uh. You are roboting the fuck out, Haru. Oh, yeah, I I'm roboting because my because this game is more demanding than it fucking should be. Ah, I see. Um, I just, I just found two great- I just found- no, three, I think. Maybe three, maybe a pack of three, because they're all going in the same direction. But, like, I found at least two friends who are playing the game together right now, and their nice. names, I shit you not. Yeah? Mara Solves Bathwater and Average Destiny Enjoyer. God. Wonderful. <laughs> Hi, Namona. I, I really, I, I think, I think, I think Bungie going mostly indie 
for the time they did, and then make and then like transferring all their shit to Steam was the best decision because mm -hmm. your in-game name is whatever your Steam name is. Yeah, and that's made for a new a new era of fantastic just, cryptids. Just <laughs> incredible. If oh, there's one thing I love about MMOs like this, is you get to meet some of the funniest fucking names on the planet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Nimona's talking about how she loves battling even when she loses. Hi, Goku. Yeah. I'm not gonna get, like, weirdly, like, erotically, erotically charged SS, SSJ4? With, like, the red fur and the monkey tail? Mm. That was in GT, I think. I think SSJ4 was that one. I haven't watched any Dragon Ball ever. Yeah. That's a little four. Thank you, Lizzie. Liz Lizzie's yeah. one of the resident Dragon Ball nerds, uh, so I, yeah. I should probably watch one of the big three at some point. Am I gonna? I, 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 honestly? Honestly? I, you know what? I'll just go ahead and straight up just say this. Yeah? If you ever had the interest in ever watching anything from Bleach, I think one of the best ways to potentially gain some level of interest mm -hmm. is uh, the live act, the one hour long live action short film. Yeah. Uh, because it's actually really good, but it's also, it also breaks the story. Mm -hmm. It's oh. one of those things where like, I mean, oh, yeah, it's, it's like, it's hastened. So yeah. it's like, oh yeah, events happen quicker than they should. Mm -hmm. Well, But there's uh, a lot more trigger development in here's it. Here's the thing. That's not hastened. Mm -hmm. That That's the original pacing of Bleach from the manga. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> I've read the manga, and I that's how I got into Bleach, actually. Mm. It's absolutely not. Oh, boy. The, the anime is actually damn near one to one with the manga for the first for the first actual arc of the series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just like I know that the anime runs ran into a lot of pacing issues because it caught up and yeah, well, and that, yeah, there 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 are like a lot of like minor filler arcs and yeah. major filler arcs that are like anime exclusive. Mm -hmm. However, I can say that like anyone who anyone who rags on them. Like, there are two that I will say deserve no hate whatsoever, but still get it, because it does- I will admit, they interrupted a lot of really important story beats. But one is the Bounce arc, which didn't interrupt a whole hell of a lot. It was, like, in between- like, it- they- it- it started, like, just after they got back from the Soul Society, which is, like, actually a pretty good mm -hmm. place to end it on. Yeah. Don't ask what happened to Aizen. It, it, it's not important, don't worry about it. Oh, boy. But, like, the Bounce arc is actually really good, and a lot of the characters are very sympathetic for what they mm -hmm. are. There yeah. are a few that really aren't. They're kind of psychotic, but that's kind of the point. Yeah. That sounds like, like what whole, I know of Bleach. The, 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 whole, the whole, like, main- the main two or three antagonists, quote-unquote, of that arc are, are going through that Dracula theme of, like, mm -hmm. I've been alive for so fucking long. I've trained, raised, and watched so many of my friends either go nuts or yeah. just want to die and willingly off themselves mm -hmm. because they don't want to live this life anymore. Yeah. I'm tired. I want this shit fixed, so I'm fucking doing something about it. Yeah. I love Gene Claudia. He's a great character. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was a school store till post game. Ah, uh, yeah. I yeah. I highly recommend doing all like the classes and teacher arc stuff in Scarlet File. It's really good. It's like actually just delightful. Hi, Arvin. <laughs> Ow. This time's our fave, yeah. The teachers are great, and I'm glad that, like, they've actually given, like, the gym leaders and other, like, characters in the game a bunch of fucking characterization. Because, like, that's good. I like when there's actual, like, characterization for, like, everyone. Shoutouts to Larry, by the way, one of the best characters. <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, just 
just a dude, and he's yeah. tired and overworked. Mm -hmm. uh, what by a fucking move. Yeah. By the way, Haru, it is incredibly funny how your Paduru is significantly smaller than Jasper's. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> huh. You're doing all right, by the way, Jasper. Oh, yeah. Jasper, uh, you're muted, by the way. F. Um, I think a while. I think the entire time. Not the entire time. Yeah. F. Uh, I think yeah, it was I'm right after you gave me the okay to do the Temtem rant. Oh, shit. F. <laughs> Fucking rip. Oh, well. Oh, well. Would you like fries with that? Yeah, uh, hold on, one minute. Takes out pocket, takes out pocket, Padaru Nile. Padaru Nile, do I, do I get the, do I get the french fries? Don't need the feeling the strength of the coming winter. <laughs> yes, a uh, large fries, please. <laughs> no, that's not, no, don't fucking lie, that's not. The reason you'd get for getting the fries. No, I'll be the one eating the fries. We're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm I the mean, one that will steal all your fucking French fries. Yeah. I mean, there's also another reason. I'll just text is it. Is it what I think it is? Probably. <laughs> I texted it to you. <laughs> Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you have to maintain your long winter wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, we're getting teased about the fucking disc Pokemon again. That's absolutely going in the DLC. I still love that fucking crackpot fan theory about about Iono. Which one? The Rotom one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are... Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are robots in the canon. Yeah, well, that, that, was, that, was the, that was the part that put it into, like, just outside of Crackpot theory. Yeah. Like, no, now, like, again, it's like most conspiracy theories, the more you think about it, the more it begins making sense. Yeah. G and N can hang out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, ah. Uh. would have loved to see a version of Sun and Moon where the fan theory that floated around for a while when they released Musumi, Lily, Gladian, uh, oh my god, what's his name? Guzma. Mo. Yeah. And, and their designs alongside of Nihi Lego, uh, Theramosa, Zerkatry. Yeah. And, is that, what's the one that Gladian was, like, visibly designed after? Um, he's kinda close to being designed after Silvali. Yeah, because, like, I would have loved to see that. Or it's like, oh, no, yeah, it turns out they are. Or, like, they, they could they could have uh, imposter moments in the game. Like, yeah. However, I will say that thematically, uh, I do like the idea that, like, in Lusamine's haze of... haze of Nihi Lego poison, mm -hmm. she, like, became so fixated, she, she modeled her kids and friends after them. Yeah. Which I kind of like that mentality a bit more, but at the same time, like I would have loved to see that. Yeah. Glad he is a puzzle. Puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, God. Okay, no, I actually have a great way to try and link that though. Yeah. Look at how insecure that kid is. Yeah. And you told me that an insecure kid wouldn't absolutely have a thing for being big and strong. I mean, he's Let's more got a. Any chance it gets. He's more got a thing for uh, playing Shadow the Hedgehog on the GameCube, but. What? <laughs> Probably no. Yeah. Zerkatry is like one to one. One to one Guzma, though. Mm. Guzma's bombacious and loud. Guzma is a bug. Guzma loves bugs. They're both, like, definitely out there. 
Yeah, well, that's um, more on, like, personality and not, like, visual design, which is what yeah. folks are thinking about. Shadow stages do have good music, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm now, I'm now thinking back to that. I think it was you, Lemma, that put that in one of our chats. With the fucking... It might, no, I think it was either you or it was Nikki. I forget, I forget who it was now. Which thing? Um, fucking Charmy the Bee in Shadow. Like in character playing Shadow the Hedgehog. God. And it, and and <laughs> one of them pulled out the Weber's Dictionary explanation for I think it was CBT. God, I think that was Nikki. <laughs> that was probably Nikki. <laughs> mm -hmm. I gotta I gotta go see if I can find that again now because that shit was genuinely funny. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Arvin is pointing out some interesting things with the lore for this that will be explored in the future. Oh no. Oh, oh no, what's oh, I up? I sent you this. Terrified. Absolutely oh, fucking just terrified. Added me. Oh no. I also just added got... me with a fantastic little meme. I I <laughs> Everyone knows those terrible Hallmark movies, right? What happens when you put Chuck Tingle in charge of one of those? Uh, good things. Because... It's not its not actually Chuck Tingle, but it does read like a Chuck Tingle theme, yeah. so I mean... Chuck there Tingle is... Put it in voice yeah. text. Chuck Tingle is great, TBH. Mega respect. Chuck Tingle's a fucking hero. <laughs> yeah. Just absolutely incredible. Hey, what do you got for I, me? You know what I want? I want a Chuck Tingle and Stevie G's crossover. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, oh. I, 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 I'm lost. Was I, yeah. I think it was oh, Iowa. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. I know why this... No, this is absolutely not Chuck Tingle at all. No, I know. Want to know why? It's like, it, no, it, it, like it reads it's, like a Chuck Tingle yeah. novel. Cover. Kind of, but it also doesn't for one crucial reason. Uh-huh. It's straight. Oh, no, 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 technically not, because Godzilla's not inherently male. We just give him male pronouns because yeah. of reasons. He has no gender. That's fair, but yeah, uh, let me just pull this up on stream for folks. <laughs> I just love that it's one of my favorite iterations of him, which makes it all the funny here. Yeah. But yeah, look at this shit, y'all. <laughs> I got added with that in another server, I Fucking love Aiden. Yeah. It's basically <laughs> canon that my trainer and I repeatedly underestimated Arvin and Knight. Yeah. Yeah, this this is what I'm putting up with. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm the shit poster of the crew. <laughs> yeah. The little shit poster. If my if my brain spun a bit faster, I'd be a lot more shit posty, but it doesn't. Oh well. Guess I'll die. Oh boy. God's films. Godzilla's sl spine flaps are so cramped in that suit. Yeah. They remain living. <laughs> okay, so. <where's laughs> um, Penny is in the art room. Okay. It's fine. It's backless. <laughs> What was that picture? Like, like this, like it was like a, like a, like a normal suit in the front, but like on the back, it like showed like, like strappy lingerie because the uh -huh. whole entire back was open. <laughs> By the way, I love all the like paint, like all the student paintings and shit in here. Just delightful. Yeah, no, like just peak, like. This game was made by people who genuinely, deeply care about it. And that's more than I can say for a lot of stuff nowadays. Oh my god, Penny's never been in the art room before. fucking cares it's always worth the effort if you're not a fucking coward Ooh, 
Hi, Maxi. Thank you for the bwops. What was that? Which one? Sun or Moon player character? Moon. Moon. Got it. Yeah, how good the pocket man is. Good. Just chilling out and such mostly. Oh, hey, look. There they are. Ah, hiccups. <laughs> ah! Stop that. I'm a robot. I shouldn't be getting fucking hiccups. Uh, regular. God, here we go. I'm, I'm not sorry. Yeah. Are those chicks' boots huge? That Yes, they are fucking massive. Okay. I'm about to have two things sent here, aren't, aren't I? I'm, st I'm still working on this. Uh, you can get the time, don't worry. Alright. Uh, I, I do want my work shown off, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, yeah. Got flame wing th doing things, too, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, she has to, she has to, she has to walk like, she, like she's doing a military drill. Ah, uh, I see what Niall's doing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a, it's like a keyhole version of, of, a uh, your sweater with the, with the, with the button in the back that's open back. Yeah. <laughs> gotta get the spines to breathe, you know. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dork. I'm not sorry. <laughs> also, I... Also, I think I misheard you say breathe there. What do you think I said? What the fuck do you think I heard? Uh, breathe. I mean... Dumbass. The, the, I mean, easy, easy access, you know. Yeah, exactly. Right this post-game or a new run? Um, and... This is post-game, wannabe cat. <laughs> I usually don't do, like, multiple runs of a Pokemon game. I get sentimental. Yeah. Well, I make it much easier now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bella! Useless fucking lesbian. That character design is fuck insane. Yeah. King Star's great. Gigantic muscled Amazon with like frilly magical girl outfit. Incredible, isn't I it? I love that. Yeah. I, I fucking love that 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 juxtaposition. That's one of my fucking favorites, actually. It's almost like the characters in story in Scarlet and Violet are the best Pokemon has ever had. It's amazing. Oh. Yeah, she's the fighting type team star leader. She is a pro wrestler. Yeah, she, oh, so good. Oh yeah, she's also got a girlfriend. Oh yeah, uh, right, her. Her girlfriend from the storyline, yeah. No, Team Star is delightful and wonderful and great. She boot too big for she goddamn feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah. Scarlet and Violet are, like, I genuinely adore them. And... Yeah, they're just really good. And... Alright. Ooh. 
exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi, Ari. <laughs> Uh, Penny got lost in her thoughts, as usual. <laughs> she, she has many thoughts around her. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, no, Scarlet, Violet, just amazing games, which I, like, they have said that they are working on improving the performance, and we have seen improvements so far. And I just love these games with all my heart. They are just wonderful. Oh my god, she and her girlfriend started a wrestling club? God. Harry rolled an 11 on perception and sight. Yeah. No, but then now they can publicly talk about it. <laughs> it has been made. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, that, and that's how they get you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Pokemon, good. All right. Oh, no, I just focus in the classrooms, okay. Yeah, that, that's good. Oh, uh, yeah, like, Team Skull and Team Star are both just fantastic. Just amazing. Yeah, uh... Okay, so I, I had to make it because I saw a version of that years ago. Like, when, when Sun and Moon first came out. Mm -hmm. um, but I had to make it, but I couldn't find, like, I was a search for it, so I couldn't find it. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, but yeah, no, like just. Not mentally, he's not. Guzma's great, and Team Skull is just wonderful. Love them. Team Skull is my second favorite. Yeah, team. Yeah, same here. Team Star being number one, of course. Yeah, fair. Team Skull is not villain. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, yeah. but they just don't fit that role. Or, yeah, I mean... Because... Yeah. Well, well, no, but, like, like Team Skull was, I think, the first one that began going mm -hmm. down that route. Yeah. Uh, because... Because Lysander was bullshit. Lysander was an actual psychopath. Yeah. Well, sociopath, yeah. I guess, given too much. Like, it's what happens when you give a sociopath actual power to make things go that Why would you, or yeah, no, I rem I love the, but why do you want to destroy the world? Okay, mom. Just, God, uh, yeah. Lysander was not the best written, especially coming off the back of Gen 4, which was the most actual character motivation we'd seen yet. How Gen 5 was they were literally just a like cult turned militant terrorists. Wait. We're going to Nimona's room? Mm -hmm. Well, alright. Okay. I guess I finally did add sex with Pokemon. <laughs> God. I can't believe it. We got the, we got a full yeah, fucking yeah. like QTE cutscene and everything. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, they broke up the GTA San Andreas cutscene. God, I would <laughs> fucking hot. <laughs> Why do all my jokes always get fucking sniped while I'm reading chat? Sorry. Yeah, no, all, no, I'm not upset. Yeah, not your fault. <laughs> it was literally the same joke I was gonna make. Fucking hot coffee. So funny that neither of his friends noticed that he hike he wanted to do world destruction. Gets invited to Nimona's room, immediately takes picture. To be fair, I was taking a picture of the cute Pokemon on, like, the storage boxes there. Oh my god, she's even got her badges in the back. Oh, I need to zoom in on those, so... You know, 
I really gotta say that's probably the smartest thing to do. What? Is just put the badges on the on a fucking rack in your room so yeah. they don't get gross and dirty. And have to wipe them <laughs> off in the best thing Pokemon's ever had. While playing Row 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 Your Boat. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, I just met this man ten minutes ago and I think you and him need to talk about this chuny funk he's in. <laughs> yeah, uh... Don't, 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 don't bully the Chuni. As a Chuni who was a Chuni for way too long, that I, that I will admit that much. I, I, I do not appreciate Chuni, Chuni, or making fun of Chunis in any capacity, primarily because I think the stigma against them is just totally unfair. Nimona, what are you saying here? She wants to have a night battle yeah. with you. That's a Kanti collection joke. Yeah. I will bully Lysander as much as I like he is like a 40-year-old man, yeah. Bullying Lysander is fine. Just don't throw Chunis under the bus. You thought, yeah, if you're saying he's a Chuni, he's way beyond that point. Yeah. He is, he is a man who admittedly... Like, I, you know what? Honestly... And now that it, the more that I think about it, he's a lot like Giovanni. Yeah. He just happened to take the more upsetting route to to his to his actual level of power. Because when you think about it, Giovanni has a lot of money. He has a lot of assets under that under his fucking fat belt. Lysander does as well. The problem, the difference is, is that Giovanni was very subtle about it. Like. Team Rocket gets exposed. Like, it is apparently stated in one of the games that Team Rocket got exposed because of Red. Yeah, uh, Nimona, that's gay. <laughs> Promise me you'll always stay my equal, you and me, true rivals. I don't think that's what you actually mean to say there, Nimona, but... You know it. Yeah, like, Giovanni and Team Rocket, like, and again, like, I still love thinking about that a lot, too, where it's very clear that Team Rocket, <laughs> the Pokemon they have, they have them oh, for a reason. yeah. Hope everything's gonna be alright, Jasper. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> Rivalry's just a gay relationship if Gundam Mech has taught me anything, yeah. Feel free Zona Namona, oh my god. Have you fucking watched Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. <laughs> Probably the single one of the most homoerotic anime that's ever that's ever been created. Yeah. Yeah, no, look at these like boxes of Pokemon food here. These are adorable. I really appreciate how Pokemon food exists in the game where they keep stealing your fucking subway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey! Yeah. Hello, Chaotic Cryptids. Welcome! I really, I really do appreciate, like, the, the, the running joke of just, this lizard stole my fucking sandwich. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, uh... The sandwich is for me, yes? No, it's, it's mine. Oh my god, she's got a fucking training schedule! I mean, of course she does. Yeah. And she got uh, yeah. And she got there through her own hard work. Okay. There. Nimona's route complete. Um Yeah, uh, that unlocks Nimona's dorm room as the location. You you can't call that a completed route without a fucking ring on that finger, the fuck? <laughs> uh. I expect I at least expect like a wedding CG animation. I would love that, but sadly, uh, <laughs> sadly, it's Nintendo is cowards. It's a gotcha joke. Don't I know. That, that, I know that, it that is. Can only really exist fluidly in that. Mm -hmm. I really do. I also kind of say that I really love how how they justify a lot of those in gotcha games. The sad part is, is that they do make some level of sense. <laughs> yeah, heading back to sleep, but finally managed to tune in the stream. Yeah, good to have you. Should make more crepes. Crepes are good. 
Every time I EV train, I have to worry about the ecological impact I'm having. <laughs> Crepes are good. Then again, I'm not necessarily a pancake person. I like pastries. Yeah, crepes are a lot more bearable than pancakes because there's a lot less substance, so you don't get as overwhelmed by how rich they are. Two whole meows! Alright. There's Penny. I do not like very, pancakes, very but they're too. Oh, hey, Lana. Welcome to my classroom. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Penny's also in the STEM track. Because, you know, it's not sis. Yeah. We saved the region from being bulldozed by Time Dawn fans. It's time to cruise around beating up level 4 Shanks. <laughs> Penny was trans before. Wait till you'll see till you see her dorm. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's something I want to talk to you about. I will keep taking screenshots of how fucking gay this is. I cannot be stopped. Damn, bitch, you live like this! <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Hi, Ari. Uh, Penny, I love you, but she lives like she lives like this because her fucking Pokemon are out all the time. Penny, I love you, <laughs> but you need to clean up more than I do. Data server? Yeah. She has a whole ass data server next to her three tiered curved monitor. Yeah, I mean, Penny is a super hacker. I mean, uh, I. Got a friend who literally how has that too, so. How many, how many yeah. frames can you use Fortnite? Penny played Persona uh, 5 once and decided to live like Futaba. <laughs> oh, I no. think they have two friends who have a personal data server in their house. Yeah. I would like something like that, but you really need a better environment for if you're doing anything serious. Like just temperature. I mean, with that, with that kind of object, I can only imagine how fucking hot that room would get with just one. Hey, I mean, that's good for winter. Yeah, but at the same time, like, that's also a lot of yeah, power. Yeah, that is a lot like, of power. Imagine, imagine what one outage could do to yeah, that. Uh, fun fact, um, modern GPUs give about as much heat per watt of energy as like uh like thermal as like a standard heater does jesus that's it's too much yeah it's too much that's too much heat put some back like I, 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 the bill. I, I prefer the heat but like i would not be able to mm -hmm. sit next to that yeah only because i sweat so easily fucking black jeans they suck sometimes This is my room. Make yourself at home. Yeah, just... Penny, your room... Yeah, your dorm room is in a worse fucking state than my apartment, and that is fucking saying something! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a large, there's like a large spike in use since the multi-haired kid came in to live with your door. <laughs> Uses of what exactly? Uh, electricity mostly. Also, we've been getting complaints from the surrounding dorms that, like, during the summer, like during during the summer specifically, but like it's it gets really really hot in that dorm setting. Oh, huh, that's weird. Smash cut to like months and months later. Oh, so that's why. <laughs> they never did anything about it. They just let it, just let it sit. It's fine. Oh, it's the fine. ISP keeps complaining. 
<laughs> God. Yeah. Ah. I got a call from Parisian. Parisian <laughs> 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 Fios, the, the, the fastest 5G network in Palladia. <laughs> God. Ah. <laughs> 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 ah. <laughs> Consistent jokes yeah. from Pokemon ever. Mm -hmm. It was just too perfect. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> All right. So time for uh, yeah. It's nice and cozy in here, which it is. TVH. Look at all these evolution. <laughs> she calls them. Oh my! Wait, wait, wait! Those boxes are fig. Those boxes are figurines. Also, she calls them her VVs. Oh, Penny! The fucking closet where I have all my boxes. Penny, you <laughs> it's not fucking weeb. Penny, you absolute <laughs> fucking weeb. How, how many Nendoroids do you own? Lemma, lemma, lemma through, lemma, lemma through gritted teeth and tears. You fucking weeb. <laughs> <laughs> the fast that I really want. There's like a specific Wojak face that I just think of left like oh, that no. being that being your face, Lemma, as she's telling you about her Nendoroids. Are <laughs> you just you're saying you fucking weeb? <laughs> Bold of you to assume I wouldn't absolutely love to hear someone info dump about their Nendoroid collection. I know, but it's like I know, but like the, the first initial visual yeah. shock is still pretty passionate. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah, no, Penny, <laughs> Penny, hun. Can I have some of your estrogen? I'm running low. <laughs> Actually, I think I did just get a new bottle of estrogen in the mail today, so I need to go pick that up after stream. We also have a closet full of boxes because we keep the box for every single electronics we have. Yeah. <laughs> She she brings you over to her data server and plugs you in via HDMI. <laughs> <laughs> and just, I don't know why HDMI. It just it doesn't make sense, but that's why it's funny to me. Yeah. And she just she she double clicks on e.exe. <laughs> anyway, wondering why I brought you here. Yeah, sure. It's about your team star friends and nothing else. She opens up your root directory and drags in a- an, Wait! Uh, wait! Wait! Wait a- wait a- file. wait a fucking second! Wait a fucking second! That's a fucking GameCube! Where? Bottom right of the screen! That's a goddamn GameCube! Holy then, shit, you're right! Yeah, then there's, a uh, Then there's a Game Boy up by my head, yeah. I mean, to be fair- Oh yeah, you're right! To be fair, every single Nintendo console is canon to Pokémon. Yeah, it is. You know, actually, you mentioned that, and I figured something out that I didn't know, because I yeah. have not played USUM until, like, the, 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 like, the very intro part mm -hmm. of it, just to test to see if it worked on the emulator that I yeah. have. You know, when in Sun and Moon, you have a Wii U. Yeah. In Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you have a Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Switch had come out by that point. Was there really that much time between it? Because the Switch was not out. When Sun and Moon came out. Uh. Yeah, no, uh. Yeah. Was it? I don't remember. Yeah, let me check. Um. I didn't get my Sun and. Five years yeah, before. uh. <laughs> let me search. Pokemon Sun and Moon. Pokemon Sun and Moon, November 18th, 2016. Four months before the Switch released. Wow, four months. Yeah, <laughs> and then, yeah, like. Ultra Sun Ultra Moon came out November 2017. Switch was out by then. Man, that 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 could have been a Switch game. Yeah, it could have been, but that would have taken so much work. The 3DS and Switch have very different processor setups. That... Yeah, I, although I I still do think they should port the Switch games or the, the 3DS games to the Switch. They never will because mm -hmm. Nintendo doesn't do that. Yeah, but uh, someday, they someday the virtual Boy and a stack of Game and Watches will appear in Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you must be wondering why I brought you here. It's about my team Star Friends. Sure. 
It really means the world. I sent, I sent you that that fucking uh that that Rotom picture with the Chainsaw Man dog. Yeah, right? with yeah, Pochita yeah. Rotom, yeah. Yeah, Amazing. Rotom, Rotom goes into goes into into a um a, a weed hedger, or like a like a one yeah, of the, or, like a lot with the hedge cutter, and it becomes mm -hmm. that. Yeah, or <laughs> just or you know, or yeah, a chainsaw, because you know, Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Penny. Penny's got anxiety. Pretty naturally worried, but... Yeah, Penny. You deserve head pats. And also a blue high. Yes! What? What Pokemon would a blue high in Pokemon actually be based on? Because, like... There's like Sharpedo, Sharpedo Carvana. Because it's literally the it's literally the only real shark Pokemon that exists. Yeah. No, obviously it'd be whale horn. Kyogre. Kyogre's a whale. Kyogre's an orca. orca like 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 close. legit the the only other shark like genuine shark Pokemon is Garchomp. Yeah. Which is why I'm still kind of miffed. I'm like. I mean, there's a really cool fan design for like, what is the, what's the, what's the, the, the dolphin that was added recently that's just Echo the Dolphin? Elephant, possibly? Yeah, like, there was a fan, there was a fan design that I saw a while back that was like a shark version of that, and it looked, it looked great! Yeah. And I'm like, can we get that, please? We need mm -hmm. more actual sharks. I love sharks. Yeah, I mean, sharks. I would love a Garchomp Blue High. Yeah. I have a, I actually have a Pokemon Center Mega Guard Shop my my girlfriend bought for me from Target one year when she visited. Nice. It needs to, it needs to be washed, but mm -hmm. <laughs> that's because I I refuse. Okay, so little little revealing fact about me: I physically cannot sleep without clutching one of my one of my plushies. Oh fucking mood, yeah. <laughs> I have to be clinging to something, otherwise I cannot fall asleep. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, took me right on as a friend. Is, the only shark is Sharpedo. Yeah, you know, a Waylord plush does sound wonderful, though. Also, uh, shoutouts to Stuffle and Beware. Can we have? Can we have a? Can, can I get a? Can I get a one to one Waylord plush? <laughs> <laughs> yes. My room is twenty four by twelve. That shit ain't gonna fit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, my, my, granted, my bedroom, which is the entire basement, is bigger than most apartments, but that shit's still ain't gonna fit. <laughs> Hi, Sylveon. Well, that's really funny. Could you actually curl one up in the 24 by 24 space? No. Yeah. If, it, it, oh. if, if Whale Lord was one-to-one, -one, that shit, like... You know what? Let me get a picture of Whale Lord and Coliseum. You'll get, you'll get a. You, that is, I think, the only game to date that's done an actual, <laughs> accurate rendition of its size. Oh. Yeah, it's a huge rack and of computer for good stuff. Reason. Yeah. Oh my God, this. Yeah, it's a huge rack of computer stuff. What could Penny be using all this for? Hacking the lake point system. Yeah. How oh, can I? Oh, I can't interact with all the figurines because Sylveon is right there and is too happy to be around. Yeah. Sorry, here, I put, oh, I put, Pokemon! I put voice oh! Oh my god, she has Pokemon Nendos. There's like 16 terabytes of torrented anime on there, yeah. Oh my god, she's got so many empty cup ramen. They're like, those oh wait, are. No, that's right. Oh my god. Shield apparently had some level of accurate size rendition. Yeah. Partial, oh god, because. Yeah. Partial because a uh, one to one size rendition actually kind of makes the game worse. Because I think. So, I, I don't know if Whale Lord's in that game by default, but apparently I read that someone had modded it in if it wasn't, and mm -hmm. it is, like, absurdly gigantic. Yeah. Uh, by the way, um, yeah. Here. By the way, check out all this like, um, Pokemon cup noodles and pizza boxes and shit. Wait, you're in Penny's room? Yeah. This is post game Wait, stuff. Clean that off. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Archer voice. Do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. Yeah. 
Piano, oh. Penny. I will help you clean this stuff up. Ah, I see. Even even copying over the image of accurate whale lord picture from Reddit is too hard, because the fucking resolution on that fix is too high. <laughs> it's 100% on point, yeah. Alright, now, um, time for Arvin's room. Yeah, oh. The solution to Penny's problem is just having a wood stove. <laughs> yeah, uh, Arvin! Hi! Don't call me little buddy. Arvin! Hi! There you are. <laughs> So apparently Whale Lord was added for the Island of Armor stuff. Yeah. And it is like actual Whale Lord size. Mm hmm And you can fight it. And it will also actively seek you out. Yeah. To fight yeah, no. You. Whale Lord's Imagine one of the aggressive seeing ones. That shit barreling mock speed <laughs> at you. Well, the empty Holy boxes shit. in the foreground of her dorm are noted as being from stuff she ordered online, oh my god. Just fucking importing shit from Kanto. <laughs> Change of scenery. Oh my god, Arvin's kitchen is just super fucking decked out. I'm not even surprised. Look at all this! My body! Oh, I didn't get the screenshot in time. My body. Oh my god, he's just got a fucking ironing board set up back there. Dude, you know those fold up, right? <laughs> my guy. Oh, he's storing the iron on it, that's why. Probably a really good cook. Oh, no, absolutely he's a good cook. <laughs> my guy had the nerve to claim that cooking's just a thing that he happens to do, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Apparently, okay, so just to give to give context for that, I downloaded a new mod for the game, which inserted, like, more customization that was missing from this version of the game, because in Ooh. past Mech Warrior games, they're gonna have, mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, you can, like, improve your engine and yeah. whatnot, so you can go faster. Well, it also allowed for a couple extra slots, as on top of the one that I already had for that. Mm -hmm. Oh my and god. I, I I swear, every mod I add makes my kaiju brand king crab become more and more of a war crime, and I kind of love it. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, um, shout outs to Arvin for the uh, least surprising thing yet of, I'm gonna become a cook! No shit, my guy. Good at stuff. He's just been distracted because his dog has been sick. Yeah, no, I that's, believe in you, Arvin. That's so. I'm sorry, but like, there's something really, really, really funny of that in that sentence in the context of Pokemon. Cause that's yeah. too real. Yeah. Just go to just go to fucking Cinnawood and get the secret potion. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, that's what we were getting Herba Mystica for this whole time. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what that is, huh? Yeah. Um, they are, like, magical cure-alls. Abastiff's face is enormous, yeah. Yeah, no, like, just... Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Check my stream! <laughs> Check my stream! <laughs> I, I am, but like, I don't know what I'm it's looking at. It, this is a big fridge! <laughs> is it? It looks pretty average to me. If anything, it looks small, but I mean, the character's like, what? I mean, for a dormitory, you normally only have like a mini fridge. I think it's just funny to me that just that's all it has to say about it. Yep, it's a fridge. Oh, yeah, they don't they don't, <laughs> they don't let you go inside the fridge anymore. They stopped that in Gen <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you can't you can't just open up some other dude's fridge. But why? I wanna I wanna know if these cringer bays. Yeah, look at all these fresh ingredients. Also, that looks more like a flat than it does a dorm. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, okay, well, no. I was gonna say that it probably had, like, more space. There's no bathroom. Yeah. Um, I mean... That's what the side door is Yeah, there. I'm guessing that oh, this door okay. is the bathroom. Yeah. Oh my god, Arvin's bathrobe. <laughs> or, no, that's a rain jacket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pokemon good. I would not I would not be able to live in a complex where I don't have a my own, or my own laundry yeah. machine. I don't <laughs> like computing or appliances. Yeah. It sucks. Also laundromats fucking blow. There's tons of cardboard boxes from buying things online. Yeah, no, like just having your own lawn like having your own like washing yeah, like washing machine and dryer is so fucking freeing. Yeah. I'm I'm disappointed in one detail. Yeah. Not one of them is sitting inside of a box. Yeah. Oh my god! I just realized she's got like a fucking RGB light gamer PC on the shelf above her monitor. Why is it up there, Penny? Put it down. <laughs> the only place she could fit it. <laughs> like, there is so much. There is so much room under that desk. I yeah. I don't think she sleeps. Yeah. There's so much light to that there's, room. There's a lot of Pokemon fur clinging to the bed. <laughs> also, she's got her curtains drawn and shit. Mood. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's a sin to, to, to move your Eevees. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, wait, I just realized the, like, pixel, like, po Pokeball light up on the wall. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, Penny. You fucking... Oh. Oh. <laughs> you didn't complete a sentence because you're too enamored with how ridiculous you are. <laughs> yeah. I love these characters so much. They're so good. But yeah, um. That leaves me with, like, one more school questy thing. Of Umbreon's glow, yeah. Also, how Sylveon's eyes kind of glow. Yeah, um... I said something in the chat earlier. I, I think it may have been... I think it might have been, uh... Nick who said this. I saw yeah. that, like... Sylveon... Sylveon's, uh... Ribbons... Which are prehensile and fully, fully functional, apparently... Yeah. ...are, like, long enough to consistently tap you on the shoulder at any given moment. Which cats love to do. Yeah. And... I've seen, I think one of my favorite Sylveon jokes is a Sylveon that just likes to creepily, slowly put its ribbon tendrils up and just kind of like, mm -hmm. like, like grabby hand Sylveon, but yeah. it's like, but it's like uh, the, 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 the ribbon is dead and it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, I've seen, I've seen a lot of like funny meme art of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like. That's all I can think about whenever I see a Sylveon. I, like, I think of Sylveon using its ribbon for anything. Yeah, uh, this is the first... This is, the best you. this is the first gen where I've been like, I want more of these characters, I wonder if there's good fanfic. Yeah, no. This gen has the, the best characters in a Pokemon game yet. It is just wonderful. It makes me overwhelmingly happy. Yeah, guy... Also, about Arvin, guy's got entire sacks of potatoes and stuff in his dorm, and now I'm imagining him lugging them up the stairs. 
There should be a dragon. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that there weren't new evolutions this gen. But also, you know. Yeah. Sorry, no, okay. I guess you but also, getting all the evolutions as is is a bit much. When was the last one? Gen six with Sylveon. And the, oh, I'm gonna say this: the only reason we got that was because Fairy Type was brand new. Yep. I do not think they will ever give us any more canonical mm -hmm. in in non fan games. Because if they did, that would take up far more creative process than I think they're willing to put out with the time constraints they have. Glad you can catch evolutions in the wild in this one. Yeah, makes stuff, next stuff way easier. Yeah, it does make things way easier. Oh, can you do that? That, that is actually yeah. good to note. Mm hmm All of them are available, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, which I think if they're going to have a fuck ton, that's uh, kind of the base requirement uh, is they shouldn't be absolutely hell to get. Ah. I, I still I still think that there should be. Like, I, I, I assume that you probably can. I actually don't know. But I assume that you are able to catch starters in the wild in this. Nope. Why? Game Freak will fucking give us that. Yeah. It still makes no sense that we can't. How are you gonna have that dumbass Ash do that and not let us do it? Yeah. Uh, also, I, that was my, that's still one of my biggest regrets about Pokemon. Yeah. Let me catch it. Yeah. Also, I have no idea how evolving into Sylveon even works in this gen. Um, since the effect, like since the direct affection system got removed, it has been friendship while knowing a fairy type move for Sylveon. Yeah, which I think, which I think at that point, Eevee could learn baby doll wise with mm -hmm. fairy type. All right, um, time to look for stakes. <laughs> the Leo jump scare. I was gonna, I was gonna, I, I went, I pat back over to your stream to see what it was just so I could say that same thing. <laughs> Tiny Roar, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pokemon is a series that brings me nothing but delight. I think that things are gonna change after this. Well, well, yeah, it would have to because, like, it, it still baffles me that like it got bad enough that Nintendo is now issuing full fucking refunds for the game. Mm -hmm. That's never happened to any Nintendo game ever. Pretty sure it happened and to Sword and Shield. Pokemon. I don't remember that. I would remember if it became like a big national news sensation yeah. that they were doing that. The Sword and Shield release functional was the thing. It just, it just wasn't that it wasn't that enjoyable for a lot of people. There's a difference between like functionality I mean, and enjoyability. I mean, this game functions. Well, yes, but like it wasn't it, it wasn't publicized as being glitchy yeah. and unfinished, which is what Scarlet and Violet were for a while. Like we cannot deny that. That's fair. But like it, it like to think that it's Pokemon. The single biggest IP I think in the world at this point. Oh yeah, no, is by the far. Game from Nintendo that that started that. Yeah. That's saddening. That, mm -hmm. that broke my heart. To be fair, they also made. There's also the factor of they made so much money off it they can afford to do refunds. Well, yeah. Well, and, and again, that that again, that's just why it broke. It breaks my heart that they that they're fine doing that. Yeah. Like. Well, yeah, I say yeah. If it's gonna get bad, you should issue a refund if it's a problem. But like the fact that it's Pokemon that now was the very first Nintendo game where that becomes a thing, 
that broke my fucking heart. Yeah. I'm oh, like, well. don't, please don't go down this, not YouTube Pokemon. I've seen, uh, I'm like that Mr. Incredible meme, I don't have the strength to do this, not again. Like, it, yeah. it I don't know which That's game you're talking so about, about for like, uh, Scarlet, this Scarlet and Violet. No, for like, for like, again. Like, that implies that this has happened to another game series, and I'm not well, sure. Well, when I say that, it, it's like, a, a thing that has gone down a path I legitimately, that, that I literally based my entire life on. Something that, something that, that, that has been with me since literally yeah. the, the cradle. I mean, same. Going down a path that just does not agree with anyone. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh's done this. Okay, yeah. More so recently, but it, it's like, it's become that as well. I had, an, I had another good example, I forgot what that was. Yeah. But like, it's, it's just... It saddens me to think that Pokemon was the first Nintendo game the first intent or i guess the first thing of nintendo to finally go down the path of we have to issue refunds because people are making a very big deal about how unfinished this like nintendo themselves said we're not satisfied with what has happened they should have issued That's refunds sad. for yeah hot take they should have issued refunds for chibi robo ziplash <laughs> i deserve it i fucking deserve it why did they do this to me yeah no I said very little context for that one. Uh, but... Ch Chibi Robo Ziplash is an incredibly half-assed 2D side scroller where, in order to actually beat it, you need to have been grinding up money through the entire game, and it never tells you this once until the ver until right before the final boss. And also, you go on to the next level by spinning a roulette. What level you go to is determined by random chance. And it can get duplicates. That's disgusting. It that is. Does not make any sense. It doesn't. Who, okay. Who, 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 who are the devs that made this? Uh, not the original creators of Chibi Robo. That's, that's what I fucking thought. What the fuck were they on? Yeah. Yeah. Have they made any other games besides that? Um, let me check. Because that, that sounds like Baby Game Dev's first big mistake. Um, this was by Vanpool, um, which, uh, has, um, they made We Play Motion, or a game in it. Oh, um, they also did direction and script on Paper Mario Sticker Star. Okay, that that's direction and script. It doesn't count for game development. Yeah, but I mean, uh, like, like game mechanic star. development. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, the fact that pay, but like, just to be fair, the issue with Sticker Star was the direction and script was abysmal. Well, yeah, well, there you go then. Yeah. There are more Of all the overworld items, yeah, uh, genuine, yeah, like, Scarlet and Violet are, like, just, are fantastic games with, like, one issue. And that's why I don't think that the reception they've been given is at all fair. Well, again, 
I, I'm going to say it from someone who was part of that, who is not really part of that reception, but does have some things to say about it. It shouldn't have been. They shouldn't have, it shouldn't have had that problem to begin with. Like, I'm... Like I said... Yeah, I, oh, like, uh, you literally just said all of this, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like just... just more time. That's all it needed. Yeah. But, I, and hopefully this will get them... This I will, think I'm going to stop talking about this if I'm not going to be listened to. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I'm just looking for more stakes to pull out of the ground. Because I've got legendaries to get. Movement's just real fun in this game, yeah. Uh, the stakes don't show up on the map. Oh, no. I. No, I'm not using, like, a map to hunt for them. I'm just going around. You I think about me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a nice uh, plank stake there. <laughs> Why is that in the ground? Don't ask. <laughs> yeah, I might, like, pull up a guide, but, eh. I, I have been having a lot of fun just running around finding them. It is enjoyable, and... <sighs> yeah. So, what, what do these do exactly? Um, what are the... They unlock one of the legendaries. Or uh, four of the legendaries, the really. With, with, with like the, the vaguely Chinese names? Yeah. Oh. That's my figure. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah, like just I am very glad that we've got like just more than the box legendaries in the base game. Cough cough sword and shield. Yeah, I mean I, I still think the the friend of mine a while back said that's the best way that I've ever done. Yeah. Sword and Shield is a forty dollar game with thirty dollar DLC with content that should be in the base game by default. Yeah. I think yeah. Sword and Shield are good prototypes. Would I pay sixty dollars for them again? Nah. Honestly, you'd probably be paying approximately ninety dollars for the DLC. Uh, DLC is only twenty. DLC. Was it? Was it not thirty? Nope, twenty. Uh, uh, thirty CAD, but twenty USD. Yeah, they're, um, the Treasures of Rune, yeah, as Mimic is saying, yeah, they're based on the four pe perils from Chinese mythology, which is neat. Oh, hi, Flareon. I haven't got you yet. Fight! What terror type are you? Oh, fire. Okay. Paralyzes into its same type. I mean, that does give you like double stab. Behold my chandelier! <laughs> Unrelated, I love all the little ruins dotting Paldea. Yeah, that is very nice.
also say that I think that I, I really like the UI of Legend of Arceus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the stylization of it was neat. Sometimes you just want to bulldoze someone with your existing set of moves, yeah. Which this Flareon apparently doesn't. Oh well. Claude, we haven't seen Claude Sire's fun. Yeah, Claude Sire, my beloved. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, no, I do like, um, I do like Scarlet Violet's UI, but there was definitely a style in Legends's. I, I, I think, I think I also appreciate, like, the style over, like, simplicity something. Yeah. Because I, I, I think of minimalism in it, like, mm -hmm. Pokemon, it should definitely be that, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I, one of the things I like doing with it, like, for the, some of the Gen 3 games is going through it, or Gen 3 and Gen 4, I, I, forget, I forget when they stopped doing that, now that I think about it. Uh, Gen 5 was, is, um, yeah. Well, it was specifically for, like, like the, the borders for the text. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Um, in Gen 5, text is done in, like, chat buff, in, like, dialogue bubbles, so, uh, you can't style it. Yeah. Which, I do think it would have been nice if they brought back, like, UI styling in this. That would have been good. Yeah. Just because we have good. gone back to, like, having it in, like, a dialogue box instead of, of a bubble. I, I, I granted, I, I will also just straight up say that's probably a monkey push right there. You know that with the modern climate of video games, that will be a, that will be like a, pay two dollars for this style of theme. And I'm like, let's not do that, please. Nintendo doesn't do MTX off, like, when it's not a mobile game. I was just saying that I'm like, I really want, we have like those really cool masters outfits and the, what, what, what the, the, the Unite, like, Pokemon costumes. In main games, please. Yeah, that would Can be I put very my nice. Board, like a cute sun hat. Mm hmm. Like, fucking, come on. <laughs> yeah. I need more, like, customization for. Because, like, I want it, I want it to be more personalized. Mm -hmm. I like that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, do you remember, like, the outfits in, like, or the quote unquote outfits in, like, um,. In like Gen Four contests and Gen Five like plays and yeah, stuff absolutely. or musicals, then, yeah. where that, you could that, just that, that drag one, like, the end, where you could just drag like PNG tuber cosmetics <laughs> onto them wherever. Yeah. yeah oh, that like, was oh, great. VTuber assets, wow. Yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, you're right. Like mm -hmm. that, that should have, that should have, you know, evolved as the games have. But nope, they dropped mm -hmm. that shit almost immediately. Yeah. Uh, I mean to. Yeah, Gen the the reception the reception to Gen Five just really screwed a lot of stuff up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do hope the DLCs let me change out of my school uniform or at least give me more color options. I would be a bit miffed yes. with that. Yeah, like I would like it, but I'd also be a bit miffed because it should have been in base. I would. Exactly. You're right, it should have. Yeah. But they weren't given the time for it. Yeah, I would prefer DLC to be actual, like, sizable new content expansions, which well, they... Well, yes. Mm -hmm. Like, which... I, I feel like what... You're right, they should do that. But they can also add customization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they no, can like, do they both, can yeah. They make, like, a progression story thing for that. Mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, here's a... We got new buildings. Yeah, I mean... Out? There are, yeah, I mean, they have, like, one thing I'm actually really liking so far is they are definitely, they are actually, like, setting up the DLC stuff in, like, base game. Like, just, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, foreshadowing. Yeah, like, just both, like, the disc Pokemon we've seen a few times, 
And also, this fucking area over here. Hi, France. Hi, Kalos. What are you doing here? No, it's dive region. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they can bring that back. I love the underwater exploration yeah. in Gen 3. That shit was mm -hmm. awesome. They had a bit of that in Gen 5 as well. Yeah, but it was... The diving segment was also, like, on a linear track, if mm -hmm. I recall correctly. Yeah. Y you couldn't just, like, move as you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, like, just... That... I have a very strong feeling will be... That we will be able to go over those mountains in the DLC, because, um... That's where France is in relation to Spain. That is the mountain range that separates France and Spain. So, right up across there is Kalos. Yeah, it would have to be, like, logically speaking. Yeah. It's not yeah, Kalos-shaped, I... but that is, like, where it is geographically. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I do desperately want, like... <laughs> I, I do desperately want multi, uh, multi-region stuff again. Mm. Johto is the only game that have done that so far, and I desperately want more of that. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can kind of count the Sevi Islands in Gen 3, but, like, not really. Because not really. Because they weren't a whole region. Mm-hmm. They were... Speaking of which, I should probably... I need to, I still need to fucking go and play some more uh, Liquid Crystal again, because I realized I had to not do any of this one time. They yeah. added in the entirety of the Orange League event, if I recall correctly, ah, and I haven't done interesting. any of it yet. Hey, you can go beat Ivy, the one that Brock probably got <laughs> was that was too much for him to handle. <laughs> no, she snoo 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 him into the ground, let me tell you. God. You can't convince me she didn't. Brock, do you have any idea how hard it is to find someone that's capable of being far out of the fucking Yeah. You, me, right now. <laughs> He's like, uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Famous filler arc, Professor Ivy. <laughs> Cutie. Uh, I am very interested in seeing where the Pokemon anime goes from here. Yeah. Twilight Wings was also I, I, super I neat. Want, I want, I want game-based stuff. Yeah. Like, we've... I, I kind of want that where it's like it is just the plot for the games, but like that's great because with how hard it is to get some of these fucking games now, yeah, maybe have it because like I know that Monster Hunter Stories did that where it's like oh yeah we have an anime the pacing's a little different but it's the same exact mm -hmm. plot as the game. Yeah, I think so like when I say yeah. if you want to play that and you can't buy it, watch the anime. It's fucking great. Yeah, I same think story. this. Yeah, I think that Scarlet and Violet is finally a game where the story is meaningful enough to actually have that. Well, yeah, but then, like, we can look at Pokemon Origins and say, like, that could have been a full anime, but mm -hmm. it wasn't because it was a promotional deal for Mega Evolution and Gen 6. Yeah. Which I'm fine with, because it, but it was really, really good, and I'd love to see Pokemon anime like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just the <laughs> issue is, like, Pokemon Origins was done as a one-off thing and not as a hey you're going to be doing 150 episodes of this one every week have fun well yeah but like i i honestly think that sometimes like long form stuff like that just doesn't work anyway mm -hmm. like i'm kind of content because like i know that some of my favorite anime from the past when i was a kid were like 50-ish episodes yeah which yeah i think 50 can work as a like maybe 60 at the mm -hmm. absolute most yeah Pokemon had 56 episodes mm -hmm. and zoids chaotic century and guardian force combined which is the season one season two were like a grand total of i think 63 mm -hmm. so it's like yeah if you like a relatively long form but still easy to follow plot line you can keep it below 100 yeah just like they want to have the anime going throughout the generation of Pokemon. Yeah. And... Granted, I will say that's, what, a year and a half? Well, no, it's three years. Yeah. Yeah, like... Yeah, like... 
Mm -hmm. like, well, think of it like this. I, I recently, for my writing thing, I recently become, but been, been doing like, I've shortened it a lot. Like, I can't do long form writing anymore because I've lost passion for it. Understandable. But I still write short things if I have a client that will go for it. Mm -hmm. So what I did was, I thought like, okay, so if I have these short stories, why not build a few of them up and then release them as like an anthology yeah. and a PDF or something? Which is mm -hmm. like, apparently that's what people like for me, that's what people wanted for me now. So I'm like, okay. So why not do that? So if you're gonna have like a generation long thing, I would love to see an origin style recap of each generation mm -hmm. in like 50 episodes yeah. each. I think that would be really awesome. Mm -hmm. And they could totally do it. And yeah. I'd, I'd actually probably follow along with it because I haven't followed along with an anime in a long time in of one that long form. Yeah. The last one that I watched in real time was and I'm like, you know, that was still painful. I recently rewatched that entire series uh, with my friend the other night, on or last night, and 13 episodes, but waiting, I think, like, a week for it, for each yeah. episode, is like, that's a long wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, w I would prefer more, like, daily, like, oh yeah, if it's long form, 20 mm -hmm. minutes, okay, yeah. per episode, a daily upload. Nice. Yeah, just, uh... But, like... I'll tell you a secret about the anime industry. Uh-huh. Anime episodes are usually finished mere hours before they air. Oh, God. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really. That's... Not good, is it? See, I would never have assumed that, because a lot of the anime I grew up with in that form was already dubbed, and dubbing mm -hmm. takes, like, a good year's worth of, like, preparation. Mm-hmm, yeah, no. There you is... do that with American TV. Oh, yeah, I mean, there is, like, years, like, there is years and years of preparation work done for well, yeah, anime and such. Yeah, storyboarding, yeah. like, getting the script and everything hammered out, and, like, a lot of, Animating like... It. Yeah, like, key art is usually done, like, well in advance, but, like, just the in-betweens, like, getting the final, like, voice recording and assembling everything, that usually goes down to the wire. And people are, like, people are sleeping under their desks if they're sleeping at all to get it done, because the anime industry is fucked. Yeah. That you want, sounds about right. If you want an example of... What happens because of that? Uh, watch Ruby Ice Queendom. Or don't, if you don't want your eyes burned out. <laughs> oh, oh mm. no. Oh no. See, I haven't heard anything about that series beyond some of the character art. Can the, you elaborate? Because now I'm curious. <laughs> the final episode. During a Sakuga scene. Or the, the climactic episode of it. During... Sakuga scenes. Characters are so off model it looks like their faces are melting. Oh god. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really. It's That's like during the big climax of the entire no, show. Honestly, it, it, it being Ruby is not surprising. Not surprising because uh, only Montayun can I'm do sorry, good like, Ruby. Uh, I I I revere Ruby as America's Harry Potter. It lost any all things interesting about it when the big dark plot twist happened. Yeah. At the end of Volume Three was when that series died to me. Yeah. Like, well, because I mean, again, like they they I'm... had the problem of it would make for a great like. Here's the big thing of the movie or the volume. Instead, no, they have this huge dark ass plot they're all trying to wrap up in one thing. And I'm like, uh, you could have had like a really cool like bad guy or big problem of the, of the day. Like like a fucking like a, mm -hmm. like Power Rangers thing going on. Well, here. there's it would have been better off like that. There's a thing about that. Your interest in Ruby wasn't the only thing that died around the end of episode three, or at the end, around the end of season three. Rest in peace, Monty Oom. Um. I am so sorry no, for yeah, what they've I, done. No, I'm, I, 
Uh, I'm fully aware of that, yeah. Yeah, he, uh... He died, what was it, very soon after that? Yeah, like, just, he'd gotten, like, if I recall, he'd gotten most of his stuff for Volume 3 done, and just, because of complications with a surgery and a latex allergy no one knew he had, uh, it's a damn I, I, fucking I'm shame. I'm astonished that that, that that can just fucking happen. Yeah. It's like, maybe you should check to see that if you mm -hmm. don't know. Like, yeah. if, if you're, if I'm in a hospital, and I don't know if I have an allergy to something, maybe run a short little test to see if I am. Mm -hmm. You know, it couldn't be that bad if yeah. it's a little bit test. Mm -hmm. God, that's... It's... That, that sucks. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, uh... Ah! <sighs> Yep. Did I also say that my interest in it died around that time? That's not necessarily entirely true. Because I watched... I, I watched, like, half an episode of season four and just stopped being interested. I think it, I think it was, like, I think it was, like... just near the seven. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> because it was, like, they began doing things where it's, like, you can definitely tell they're doing this to fuck with the fans. Mm -hmm. very least to try and build something that doesn't make it's like yeah rooster teeth's yeah rooster teeth's resentment of the ruby fan base is mystifying to me because i mean fan bases suck but the fan base is all y'all have the sad part is, is that the fan base is like 50% steven universe style fans and then 50% like actual people who want to see it thrive Mm. Not, not, well, actually no, SU's pretty, pretty accurate, but now I think, I think Voltron is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I mean, Remember when some fan held Voltron's plot arcs hostage because they wouldn't get, they wouldn't make their favorite pairing gay? God, that's what a- That's the real thing that fucking happens. What a mess. Fan, internet fandoms were a mistake. Ah. Yes. Oh my god, I remember hearing about that on Tumblr, I'm like, wait. Are you serious? And uh, like, the worst part about it is that that killed any and all interest I had in watching it. I mean, to be Whereas, fair, like, the show I was. I watched the first episode, and I'm like, this looks pretty neat. This, all right, I'm, I'm down with this. Also, uh, I, I, like, I like the art style. It's kind of like Avatar. Looks cool. All right. And then I heard about the fan base like a week later, yeah. and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> to be entirely fair. The show's not much better than the fan base is. How have I not I, e I, even encountered Riolu yet? Maybe. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. More influenced by the fan base than the actual writers. <laughs> mm hmm And like, not it, in. You can, you can, you can definitely tell that 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 probably that's probably what happened. Riolu, like most Pokemon, is a weird dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I think you know. I think it may have been like unconscious for me, but I realized that it's like, oh yeah, like I love Riolu. Yeah, great designs, and then I learned that it's like, yeah, they're like inspired by Anubis, and I'm like, you know, yeah. it makes a lot of sense that that, that uh, that you'd mm. like them. <laughs> I, I, I think getting the ones that are like, weird cat. <laughs> that, 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 that Egyptian Lucario design for Unite, I'm like, can we mm -hmm. please have that in mainline games? Yeah, I mean, that we've looks so yeah. fucking cool. We've gotten stuff like Luchador Pikachu in game, but yeah. we need more. And that's my pr it's like. Can we have it for things that aren't uninteresting designs? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I hate Pikachu. I never liked Pikachu as a mascot for the franchise. Hey, all right, here's I my don't... hot take. Pikachu was infinitely uh, better what, um, before they made him skinny. Pikachu had exactly one generation where it made sense, and then after Gen One, it shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have been there anymore. Yeah. Like. Glad Pikachu's head is no longer a perfect circle. <laughs> uh, yeah. I need, I need more, like,
like better mascots. Just Pikachu needs to stop being the one that's given all the cool things in the mainline games, please. Yeah, I mean, we've got Eevee now, at least. Yeah, let's, let me honestly, I hope that Eevee gets more cool things because <laughs> fucking Eevee. Uh. You can't just have her cake for them to put down Pikachu. <laughs> can and I will. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, you're uh, no, 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 There's a fun little fact that I, I, I learned like some, like years ago now, but I still, I still think about it from time to time. The reason why Poliwhirl was so prevalent in a lot of the old Gen 1 merch is because I think it's Ken Sugimori. The guy that did the art, a lot of the art for the manga <laughs> and the merch mentioned that Poliwhirl was one of what I think was his favorite Pokemon, which is why... Time, there was no direct mascot yet because it had yeah. just come out and Polywhirl was on everything because that was his favorite mm -hmm. and I'm like you know I'd accept Polywhirl over Pikachu as a mascot yeah. and at least it's got an interesting design <laughs> but it's like I get it like the whole color theory aspect where yeah. like, yellow is the first and it stands out which is why school buses are yellow mm -hmm. because you can yellow is not really like a color that's prevalent enough in most nature to just be there, so it's yeah. one of the first colors that sticks out with the human eye. Fair enough. Uh -huh. But, it's just not interesting. Yeah. I think it's okay, just it's also, be one. I think the other factor was it with, like, Pikachu was, well, the anime, because they'd already done red, green, and blue, and they wanted to do something more interesting for Ash. But the anime came out the same year that the original games did. Not in Japan. It was barely a year. Not, not even a year. Actually, now, now I gotta look that up. I don't actually know that part. Hang on, I'm curious. Now. Yeah, let me. Uh, let me pull up red and green. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, red and green were Japan. Yeah, in Japan were February 1996. 1996. That yeah. is two years prior to the NA release. Yep, and then um, the anime started um, in yeah the anime started in 97, so a year after. Oh yeah, also uh, Pokemon, the Japanese version of. Pokemon Blue had, um, also already, um, come out by then. I think. Yellow, yellow was September 12th, 98. Yeah. So, yeah, Yellow was based off the anime. So yeah, anime did come first. I can't think of the phrase color theory without thinking of the children's hospital tumbler meme. I don't know what that is, and at this point I'm too afraid to ask. <laughs> I know exactly what they're referencing. Oh no. To give context for that, oh, no. there is there was a children's hospital that had uh, long red streaks on the hallway floor. Oh yes, at, like, that. Like, almost like guiding lines. And it's like, people were like, you don't know what color theory is, and people were like, it does not change the fact that this looks that... like a blood trail in yeah. a hospital. Yeah. You dumb, you, you, mm -hmm. you dense motherfucker, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing that post, because it evolves every time you see it. <laughs> you don't get funny stuff like that on Twitter. I'm just going to put that uh, out there right now. I mean, now. yeah, I well, that's like because... A prime place for that. Yeah. I mean, that's because Twitter is designed for people to get into fights. I'm, yeah, no, like, literally, like, just the fact that, like, you're not allowed to have any nuance because of the character limit designed for fights. Did you hear what, did you hear what the, what Muskrat's gonna try and add? Yeah, um, oh, I've gotta be right back. I will be just a minute. Uh, see you in a little. Yeah, Twitter with a 4K character limit. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, apparently that's what he's gonna try and do, and I'm like, that's a bad idea! <laughs> Even Discord only has a 2k, and you rarely ever hit that. I have a, friend, a bunch of friends who, who roleplay it through, through Discord and said, no, yeah, we, we don't really hit that. Like, that's not hard to not hit. 4k is too much. 
<laughs> Market itself as a fight website. Yes, MMA Twitter. <laughs> I would actually pay for that. <laughs> it, you know what? You know what? You know what I want Twitter to add? A Rock'em Sock'em robot minigame where if you get into enough with a thread a thread with a person who's arguing with you for long enough, it will bring up a fucking Rock'em Sock'em robot simulator so you can fight to see whoever wins wins the argument. I want that! <laughs> that sounds so stupid, but it would be so fucking funny. <laughs> New website that's more or less Twitter's UI called Battler. Oh, that's that's amazing. Can we can we have uh, the the what was it? Uh, oh, what? Yume Neko. Can we have the the Yume, the Yume Neko guy named Battler as the as like the like his hair as the icon over the B? <laughs> add add his add his hair to the capital B for Battler because his name is Battler. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Oh, I hate it. I hate it, but I love that. <laughs> Just rock'em sock'em robot argument thread. <laughs> or, or you can add more to it. You can, like, add, like, thematics of, like, different types of battles. You could have fucking Pokemon Showdown in there, maybe. <laughs> you could have Edo Pro or, or Yu-Gi-Oh Pro in there. <laughs> oh, you want to solve your battle through... You want to solve your argument through Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's have at it. See, the only reason, I think a lot of the reason that people will also tend to agree with that in some way is purely because, remember that he is the guy that created that system, I forget what it was called, uh, like, that, that was exclusively sunk, like, a sunk cost specifically to prevent the building of a global rail system. He spent billions of dollars on a farce just to kill Hyperloop? global rail. Yeah, I think that was Hyperloop. Like, yeah, Hyperloop. Yeah, that yeah, that's what it was. Like he built that exclusively to kill that. So it's like mm -hmm. I can see where people will say that, but I still think he is not intelligent enough himself to run something like Twitter into the ground on purpose. But enough to attempt to own and say that he did. Uh, are we talking about how, um, every so-called genius billionaire is actually one of the dumbest motherfuckers on the planet? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were, Mimic and I were making jokes about how <laughs> I, gotta, I guess go back up and look at this, but I think, I still think it's funny as hell. I mentioned it like, I think that, uh, I think that what, what what we should do is have it so that uh, if you if you are in an, a thread of an argument on Twitter long mm -hmm. enough, it should just bring up a Rock'em Sock'em robot fight mechanic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so that you're actually just playing Rock'em Sock'em robots, and whoever wins wins the argument. And mm -hmm. uh, lovely mimic, lovely mimic said new website that's more or less just Twitter's UI called Battler. God. <laughs> ah. And I mentioned that what we should do is have uh, the Ume Neko guy battler, like have his hair on the on the B for the for the website uh, logo. <laughs> I thought that would be funny. <laughs> but yes, ah uh, yeah, yes, this incredibly obtuse, obscure, and weird as hell brain fuck of a mind melt. Yeah, that sounds like Twitter, but also yeah. Ume Neko. <laughs> Like I said above, should have been a fights website to begin with and marketed as such, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, he's not... Yeah, Elon is, like, genuinely is trying to actually, like... He's trying to... Like, he is genuinely trying to, like, improve Twitter. That's what he thinks he's doing. But he does, he's never actually run a real company before. Yes, because... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was he's all... A, yeah. And, like, just all of his... And, like, just... SpaceX and Boring Company got literally all their money from government subsidies. And also, they literally have... 
have an entire team dedicated to Elon handling. Ideas. Yeah. So he doesn't just um, throw temper tantrums all the time like he is with Twitter. Yeah. It is. This person is the kind of person to be like to do the same thing, but I, who, who was that? Was that um? It was Bruce Willis. There's a movie that he's in that was made more or less to try and promote the fact that he can sing and maybe have a music career. I forget what movie that was. It was like a heist movie. Mm. Um, and in that movie, apparently, there's a big theory where like. I think it was like 30 million dollars i think on the budget that was not actually accounted for the primary budget for the movie Ooh. where it was like nobody knows what that money went to and one of the prevailing theories is that it was to fix his fucking hairline through cg in the movie god and it's like that's that's what elon strikes me as yeah. i bet you anything he probably has a whole team dedicated to social media specifically to prevent any of those unappealing photos of him from getting out and to make him look more photogenic in journalist photos. Too bad that team doesn't stop him from repeatedly and frequently committing securities fraud with Twitter. No, oh, yeah, well, yeah, you're right. I just meant, like, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's purely for yeah. photo editing. That's it. Yeah, no, just... Like, it, he, pays, he has, like, a $2 billion budget specifically towards that. He strikes yeah. me as that kind of person. He's, he's, he's just comically he pathetic. Unfortunately, Twitter lacked a quarter retainers and gestures to keep things running smoothly, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, that's yeah, literally that's what, like, SpaceX has for... Effectively. Yeah, we mentioned that. God, just... Just the most pathetic behavior. I can't believe that this is all because... The girlfriend who he picked up, or who he originally got because of Rocco's basilisk pickup lines, cheated on him with Chelsea. No, broke up with him for Chelsea Manning. That's right, he got cucked by a trans woman. <laughs> yeah, and that that's literally why he's like doing all like the Nazi shit now. Yep. That and um one of his kids actually came out as trans. And wants he to like change their last name. He is unironically a fucking fortune instead. Yeah. Like, except he has a lot of money. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. The no. The difference between him and fortune boys is because he has money, but they're basically the same person. He got grimes by Rocco's bass. Look, yes. I can't believe that a uh, fucking rationalist Harry Potter has now effectively destroyed two multi-billion-dollar companies, Twitter and FTX. <laughs> like somewhat up to date on the guy who owns FTX. Oh, have I? I watched a Charlie video last night and I'm like, Coffeezilla is like the most amazing person, I swear. He set the do he set the doofus up so flawlessly. Yeah. And it's so funny. How does Rock like, and Vassal's pickup line work? I don't fucking know, Jasper. I don't know how it works. I only know that it did because both of them are some of the biggest fucking dweebs who need to be shoved into lockers on the goddamn planet. Yeah, no. What a fucking world we live in. I also still- I still have a bit of mentality that, like, the singularity is not gonna happen because too many people love their fucking wounded too much. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, like, just, do you want to know what the act, what the actual thing that people who fear monger about the singularity are worried about? The, the fact that, I, 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 we have to begin nurturing it right now or else it will turn on us or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah, um, no. Roko's bat. I'll get to that in a second. You want to know what, like, people like Elon Musk and such are actually scared of when they talk about the singularity? Don't get exposed. No, um, robots asking to be paid for their labor. That's what they're so scared about. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yep. You want to know how Roko's Basilisk works? 
all means tell me because I, I in I order the logical foundations for Roko's basilisk in the original post on less wrong include one we live in a simulation two living in a simulation may means that everything is fundamentally meaningless three every person on earth getting a speck of dust in their eye simultaneous simultaneously is objectively worse than torture you need to believe all three of those things to even start to get to the logical foundation for Rocco's Basilisk. Matt, as, as a pessimist slash nihilist, like, I do believe in some level of, like, there are some things that are bad, but, like, even I don't go that far. I yeah, no. I don't think. You need to, you need to be the mo- like, just, like, just, at least you have, like, an understanding that, like, just, um, me- that, like, just- that, like, there being no greater purpose in life means that there is infinite room for self-determination. Like, just... It's just... It's like... You want to know what Rocco's Basilisk is? It's Pascal's wager for Redditors. No, right. that's the AI box experiment, which comes from the oh. same dumb fucking pl place as Rocco's Basilisk. Um, Pascal's wager is, um, if you, yeah, is, um, saying that you should believe in God because if God is real and you believe in God, you go to heaven. If God is real and you don't believe in God, you go to hell. If, um, God isn't real and believe in God, nothing happens. And if God isn't real and you don't believe in God, nothing happens. Which... Shut up, dude. Get into the fucking locker. Granted, I also think that the whole mentality... Because, like, if you also really think about shit like that, it becomes very clear that, like... You're like, oh yeah, the whole fallen angel thing. Alright, yeah, okay. You know, angels can do wrong, that can get them cast down. Okay, fair enough. But, like, you never, ever hear anyone ever know because in that in that faith, mm -hmm. it's apparently inherent there is no such thing as redemption. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> the one thing that humans love to write stories about, and you don't have that as a fundamental part yeah. of your religion. Yeah, it yeah, so Chris like, oh, yeah. yeah, Christianity just sucks. That's why that's why I choose at the that's why I'm like agnostic. It's like, yeah, yeah I believe there's probably higher powers, mm -hmm. but it ain't just from one dude. Like yeah. That. Well also no just like that much power. Also just <laughs> even in like mo even within like monotheistic re religions, like Judaism has a sense of like actual like redemption and such, where like just if you become a better person and stop doing the things that hurt others, then you then like um you can then, like, people can, like, choose to forgive you. That exists in Judaism. Why the fuck isn't it in Christianity, you fucking twats? Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because there are so many different sects of it that no one can read on it, thus yeah. they have to fight about it because I'm the one that's right and you're the one that's wrong. Yeah, uh... I, 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 <laughs> there's a lot... What was it? It was The Mist. This is a really downer of a movie, but it's a really good one regardless. There's a line in that where it's like... Uh, the, the whole movie is like everyone's trapped in a, or you know, trapped in a convenient like, like a local park. Because outside in the mist, there's like these eldritch Cthulhu esque creatures that came out from like a dimensional hole because the military kind of fucked up. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, no. Um, and in the end, like, there's a line in it where. They or that, that acknowledge the fact that everyone goes slowly insane because they're trying to place blame on someone, and like there's, there's like a, a small section of the break off to follow this crazy ranting of this lady's words. And there's a, there's one line in there, I forget, I forget what the quote was entirely, but um, it was like one of the basic fundamentals of humans is that we should try and like pick life over the smallest things and try to. And Kind of love, love apparently mm -hmm. placing blame on those who don't deserve it, and he yeah. follows all this up with, "Why do you think we invented?"
invented religion and politics. And I'm like, oof. Yeah. Oof. Uh, I'm some... not sure. Let me see if I can't find the whole quote. Yeah. A couple good comments. Yeah, like just. Mimic says, there's lots of schools of thought in Judaism. I think the difference is that we haven't built up a huge complex about some some metaphysical concept of sin, yeah. And then Jasper brought up the thing about Rocco's Basilisk, which is that, like, just... Rocco's Basilisk is an otherwise... Um, is a thought experiment which states that an otherwise benevolent artificial superintelligence in the future would be incentivized to create a virtual reality simulation to torture anyone who knew of its potential existence but did not directly contribute to its advancement or development. Which, like, <laughs> what the fuck, my guy? Yeah, like, it's it, it's literally the scenario of a kid with a magnifying glass with a bunch of ants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all it is. Like, you're telling me that you have this fully conscious entity that you wouldn't want to just chill with? Your entire point with it is to try and torture it. What the fuck's wrong with you? Well, yeah, just like... Yeah, uh. Yeah, no, just. Yeah, oh. Uh, Eliezer Yudkowski is. I want to. Sh I want to create a simulation to infinitely torture him by shoving him into lockers forever. Oh, uh, yeah, so wait, Roku's Basilis was probably the first legally recognized uh, cognito hazard? Is that what you're telling me? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, like, just the concept of Roku's Basilisk is a cognito hazard, but a really dumb one that requires so much preconception of, like, um, of, like, just belief of, like, mm, quote-unquote objective moral values that are not objective in the slightest. It's just so yeah. dumb. Yeah. I mean, oh, no, thing. not one of the first. Being transgender oh. came... Being transgender existed way before Rocco's Basilisk, and that's a fucking <laughs> cognito hazard. Oh, God, you're right. That, is, that does classify as a cognito hazard. I'm... No, oh, you're right. no. I'm not even joking. Okay, hear me out. So, knowing trans people inherently just makes you think about your own gender because it makes you aware of the possibility that like just people might not be the gender they're assigned at birth unless you've met people who have experienced that or just read stories about that or whatever it's just not something you think about because society is so fundamentally built around your assigned gender at birth yeah. being trans is a yeah, fucking right. cognito hazard it's... Okay, I found I found the whole quote. Yeah. The, the whole quote is, as a species, we're fundamentally insane. Put more than two of us in a room, we pick sides and start dreaming up reasons to kill one another. Why do you think we invented politics and religion? The, the sad part is, is that, that that's not wrong. Yeah. But it is also a very nihilistic view at it. Yeah. But it's still not wrong. <laughs> like, it is. Wars have started over over really small things. It's it's not wrong for a fundamentally capi capitalistic Christian culture where you're conditioned to think that um, everything is a zero sum game. You do not have to live in this, that world. Th mm -hmm. This story was written by Stephen King. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> Yeah, Stephen King's on some shit. He always yeah. has been. Uh, I can't believe that Stephen King said he's going goblin mode, by the way. <laughs> I, I do love Stephen King as a person. He's yeah. kind of he's kind of goofy. I love him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so see you, Jasper Hun. He, he is he is a fun like, I I actually really love that he was he was probably the sole reason why Twitter Blue is being put on a fucking blast in general. It's he's it's like, so right, funny. Well, no, fuck that's stupid. It's, it's like, so... like, what are we putting up to eight dollars? It's still fucking stupid, idiot. It's so <laughs> fucking funny. It is so funny. Oh man. Oh. There. Somewhat weird, weird, little, weird little side tangent related, somewhat related to Stephen King. At least somewhat, because it's not him, it's his son. Yeah. Who looks a lot like him, by the way. His son was like a fucking clone of Stephen King. It's kind of weird. Um. <laughs> 
apparently, so every so often I'll go back and rewatch those um those BuzzFeed Unsolved videos. I think the dynamic between those two dudes is really funny. Mm -hmm. And they have one that was related to a an unknown woman who, who was apparently found dead at some point. Striking similarity between Extra in Jaws, and apparently her body was found not too far away from the location Jaws was shot. Huh. Um. Known woman found alive. <laughs> and, um, apparently they were going on about how, like, apparently Joe Hill, which I think is Stephen King's son, um, had a theory that. That woman that was found dead was most likely her due to a lot of weird circumstances. But, like, it's a very interesting theory. I gotta go back and watch that video again, like, the full details of it, but it's really neat. Because I, I really do love, like, you can make a whole fucking story on that. Mm -hmm. And if there's one thing Stephen King and his son are good at, it's writing existential content. And I love existential content. <laughs> but yeah. I complain here. It's <sighs> I cannot wait for the anime next season. I, so I, I, I keep forgetting, has that been confirmed that it's the plot of the game? No, we have had nothing confirmed other than the name Nier Automata version 1.1a. Which I guess is the theory as to why it's yeah. like the route A of the game. Mm -hmm. I'm content with that. Yeah. Because you know what I is a long ass game. <laughs> uh -huh. It's uh, it's it's one of those games that like it does reward you for playing it more than once. Yeah. There, uh. is, there, there is no it, like your one playthrough is essentially five. Yeah. At least it's better. It does that better than bravely fucking default. I don't know very little about that game. I, I know that it exists, but I, I know nothing about you it. You have to play through the exact same storyline six fucking times to get to the ending. I love Endless Summer, yeah! Yeah, no, it's the fucking Endless 8 as a mediocre... <laughs> yeah, it's the Endless 8 as a mediocre RPG. Gimme ghoul coins do I have at this point? <laughs> you can fight bravely, or you can, def or you can default. That's bravely default. Oh, 703, <laughs> neat. Oh yeah, also, um, bravely default used fucking play coins. Like, 3DS play coins. Like, what, is it, what is a 3DS play coin? Uh, what the fuck is that? Oh, uh, the... 3DS can be used as a pedometer, and for what? ev- Yeah. And what for- that what that was? Yeah, okay. and for every hundred steps or so, you can earn a play coin. And you can use those in, like, Street Pass or some other games to, like, oh. exchange them for stuff. That's what those yeah. were. Yeah, you know the play coins in Half-Life VR, but the AI is self-aware? That's what they're referencing. Oh, oh we- Wait. I don't- Okay. The only Half-Life thing I know is Half-Life Alex. Oh, I thought we'd watched Half-Life VR together. Like a year ago oh, or so. Oh, well, okay, no. It, it, I, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Yeah? I have problems forming memory because- Oh, mood. It's- It's, it, it's an issue. Yeah, it, but like- and I get it. Dude. Yeah, like small details that I don't remember. But like mm -hmm. random funny quotes, however. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I got many of those. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, Gordon. Yeah. Hello, Gordon. But yeah, no play coins on the 3DS were just this weird thing that almost nothing used because they were kind of just in there for the same reason the Poke Walker was made for. Hey, parents. Let your kids buy this. It'll help them get fit. The obesity epidemic has no... Yeah. Or the concept of the obesity epidemic has no one financially benefiting from it whatsoever. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. um, Basically, it was just like a... Incentivized you to bring your 3DS out on a walk or to conventions or whatever. I always brought 
that shit everywhere with me. Whenever yeah. I have like, whenever I have a uh, a full like portable system, I will always take it because mm -hmm. I yeah. need something to do. Street Pass <laughs> was honestly great for conventions. It was so cool. Problem is, I just don't leave the house. So that's yeah, cool. mood. <laughs> it's nothing. There's, I have no reason to use it. Fucking mood. Alright, yeah, good night. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah? Oh boy. Excellent. <laughs> Bravely default, um, Bravely default maybe the first in Square Enix's working title just ends up being the title series, yeah. Oh, gotta love HD 2D. All I know about Bravery Default, I think, is there's, there's a there's a black character with a with a sexy red outfit, and that's it. That's all I know. <laughs> I remember Which is like very very vague, but you know. <laughs> I remember almost exactly nothing at all about Bravery Default. I remember there's one guy who's French. And that's it. <laughs> oh no, not the French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Prince. Yeah. I might wrap up soonish too, just since we are approaching 9 p.m. I don't know. There's a fairy, she's spoilers evil, I'm not sure the game has any other plot, yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, I also need to go because I've had, like, some weird, like, kinda, like, cold thing that's- all it's really done is just make me feel super phlegmy all the fucking time. Fucking, I, I hate yeah. Post nasal drip can eat my ass. Ah. <laughs> you know, now that now that you mentioned that, how would that physically work on a robot of your design? Um, it wouldn't. I'm designed to not fucking have it. So why do I have it? God damn it! Ah. <laughs> It's, it, you know what? It's what Nova does. It's, it's a it's a body simulation to keep you humble. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to be humble. I am the cutest and cuddliest and most powerful robot in Uplink City, and I cannot be stopped. No matter how hard you try, fuckers. <laughs> I can imagine the entirety of the Overgrowth having like a small merch store that has your face on it with that cloak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, paired with a with a pair of booty shorts that say "Fight me." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm definitely going back into the vod and clipping this if no one does right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Ah. Mm -hmm. Agnes Oblige. She's apparently a main character from Bravely Default. Oh, yeah. She I kind of looks like Haruna from Kanta Collection. I think I remember that name, yeah. Agnes Oblige. They pronounce it Oblige for some reason. What, what is she obliged to do? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> Why would I remember anything about that game? I, I, think, I, I think I am getting it. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to be sleepy beat. Oh, fuck, I think I am getting to that. Oh, shit. Oh, I am! Uh, <laughs> I I did get it confused with, with, with Gravity Rush. I see. There's a character named Crow in Gravity Rush with black hair that has, like, that, that, like, that, that gradience into red. And she has, like, a somewhat revealing black outfit. I'm like, is that not a... Is that not a... Oh, no, okay, no, yeah. 
yeah, yeah it's, he's, he's a Gravity Rush character. I'm like, oh, huh. <laughs> uh, I think it's because it has like a somewhat similar art style, or similar enough that it's like, oh yeah, is it the same thing? No, it's not. Ah. Uh, Yeah, okay, I think I am gonna wrap up. Let me quickly say. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Yeah. Turn this off and switch us back to just chatting. Yeah. We had fun. I'm glad. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's on the fucking up there. That's why. Yeah, <laughs> I uh. Now. I should find someone to raid. Let's pull that up. Thank you. Beep. Oh shit, Yuma's live. Oh, my friend Melly was also live playing Star Wars. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go over to Yuma. Because it's been ages. Raid Yuma. Ah, thank you all so very much for watching, hanging out, joining in. This has been nice fun because Raid, huh? Fetch my halberd. <laughs> yeah, ah. Uh, this has been great. Thank you for everyone who joined on call as usual and of course, see y'all in chat. Ah. This is going to be my only stream for the week as I am just starting out like my new job and figuring out comfort for hours and such, which is kind of important to do. Just, you know, in general. But yeah. Uh, 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 when we get over to Yuma's channel, please do not forget to drop her a follow, especially because she did a little while back swap from her like affiliate channel to her old partner one. But yeah. With that, I am gonna send y'all on over, so how about we get this raid started in five, four, three, two, one. See you soon!